Alrighty, we are going, ladies and gentlemen. Get my mic settings reasonable here again. I hope everyone is doing well. We are continuing with our Victoria 3 multiplayer game today as Britain. It looks like we have basically everyone still playing the game, uh, except the Sweden player I don't think is here today. So looking pretty good. We ran to seven days and we're all we're all we're looking pretty nice. So um, I am going to go ahead and make some changes here. Before we get in too deeply. Hope everyone's doing good. What's up, Johnny? How are you? What happened to the flag? Um, we had a civil war at the start of last session between like basically I was trying to pass free trade. A bunch of groups didn't want that to happen. We fought a civil war. I don't I didn't even get an event for it. Somehow, turn down the music. Um the Victorious family got ousted from power and the Stuarts got put into the power and became an autocracy, so the flag switched over because we're like Imperial, I guess. So uh, that is the reason we have this flag, which I kind of like, but obviously it's not the Union Jack. All right, few things I need to do here. Get this done. Ports on our isolated provinces. <laughs> it's getting reversed immediately. I'm hearing a, a, a monarchy loyalist over there from the sound of things. I'll start ranting folks as usual in Vic 3. This is the one game where like, I will very quickly like get to points where I just can't talk. I have to just zone the fuck in and try and fix my shit. Cause this is a, uh, I'd say besides maybe Stellaris, the game that gets like the most in-depth as you progress and like you, you can't just like not pay attention to shit or it's all bad very fast. Most of what I wanted to do has been done though, so we are chilling here. Uh, only thing I'm missing is privatization, which I did not do last game. Piratization is useful after sphere of influence because it allows like buildings, certain buildings to be owned by the private sector, primarily being capitalists, but also other groups that can invest like shopkeepers, sometimes farmers, depending on your laws and then uh, aristocrats. And wealth in private hands makes them wealthier, makes your economy grow and improves your investment pool. All right, that looks fine. Uh, yes, I'm good. To You're good start. to go? All right, cool. Any issues, let me know. And like I said earlier, when you get that revolt, it should trigger in a couple months. I'm going to join and help you out. So don't worry. Thank you. All right, let's fix a few other things here. Make sure I'm good on trade. For the most part, we're looking fine. We have so many dyes we're not using. That's a problem. I have the ability to make a very profitable luxury clothing industry there, but I'm not sure if exports can sustain that at the moment. What the Vescova? Been a long time. Good to see you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Everything else looks fine. I'm actually getting a bit of game lag right now. Let me try something. This government debates the merits of line of voting. Several newspapers have published polemics uh, trying to evoke the obscure law against it. We're going to go for modernizing. Who's he in charge of? The landed gentry. No, strike the useless law. We do not want the gentry to be getting stronger influence wise. Under no circumstance is that useful or desired. Reform our government to get a more legitimacy. Queen Anne is unlocked. That's huge. Let's go ahead and expand our colonies. We 
can get a fuck ton more now here. Oh, yeah. We're not blowing a bit of prey flu. If we don't colonize every piece of land, we can actually put people on. King makes a visit. We're reconstructing the Palace of Westminster. That's like a whole thing that they've added to the game, or maybe it's Morgan Rada. Um, it takes us a while to, to rebuild it. A worthy Parliament. Okay, landed voting is being worked on. I got shown a trick earlier by Chris, actually. I'm going to turn that on. Oh, yeah, and then my companies I need to change. Uh, we're going to get rid of the Great Western Rail. I'm replacing it with the Times. Can find it the Times. So, intelligentsia pop attraction, innovation gain, and increases productivity on paper mills and newspapers, which is huge. Okay, and then for goods. I'm going to pin the important ones. I didn't know you could do this until someone told me earlier before the game, which is very nice. Papers, arms, steel, tools, and transport. Organize my bar here so things get a bit easier. Those two I will keep. Okay. Looking good. I'm doing well waiting for victory game with your old Discord server to start. Ah. Ah. Yes. Okay, we're looking good here. The truck O'Neill, how are you doing? Anyone playing Sweden? No, uh, the Swedish player didn't arrive today, so I don't think we have anyone on there. I'm right, making sure I didn't forget anything. I looked at the save this week and I, I looked over some things I wanted to change, and I didn't write them down because I'm dumb, so. Um, did that already. Looking good. We get an archaeological license here. Yes, we can. Excavation license from the Egyptians. We're going to grab that. We'll send a team to the Valley of the Kings. Got to get that British Museum going. I mean, we've already got that fantastic exhibit on the pro Magnum humans and the connection to the Russian people. I think we need to expand and, you know, get a little bit more of a cultural exhibit going on, you know, with some. Egyptian artifacts we liberated completely legally from uh, from their country. Valley of the Kings. We're going to spend some big money on that. Got to do it right, you know. Working on better rifles. All of our artists are working on what they're supposed to. We have a balloonist. Everything looking good. I'll do a Pacific Expedition, but I want to wait until we're in a bit less of a deficit. The, the reason we're running a deficit right now is I removed our really bad consumption taxes and our government wages that we weren't paying properly because I'm trying to reduce our radicals, folks. Take a look up there and you'll see that uh, we've got a lot of radicals at the moment. I'm really trying to avoid another civil war off the bat here is Britain. I'm going to be juggling a few things today that hopefully uh, will get done while we don't have to fight another major war. Bit of a recovery day here. Military attaché for the archaeological expedition. Who's our youngest general we can send? Gilbert, who's only 49, is a young man. Gotta say, demanding all the Philippines is a pompous-ass move, but I guess it fits the way you're RPing. I'm role-playing as Britain, Traco Nero. I'm going to be a bit of a cunt, you know. If I'm not playing like an asshole, I'm not doing light RP Britain properly, you know. I'm just glad Russia's being such a dick, because it means, like, what I do looks slightly less bad, you know. That's a desync. I've told everyone to remove it. We're just going to literally do this because victory is a balanced and well-made game for multiplayer oh she has to unpause it but let's wait what's up pithy how you doing i used your name always makes me think i used to have a pith helmet y'all know what a pith helmet is i'm sure you do but for everyone else i got given a pith helmet as like a i think like a birthday gift when i was like 15 
I used to wear it way too often. I'd wear it on hikes and stuff too, you know, because I was a cringy ass teenager. Funny. I liked it though. I understand why pith helmets were so popular in the British Empire. It is lovely for reducing heat when you're out, out and about hiking and things like that, you know? Because like the pith helmet, like it, it'll keep the sun off your face with how it like the brim works, right? And your neck and the height of it includes some like holes in the middle on the top. So it allows your like head to breathe basically. They're lovely. If it wasn't so cringy to wear it, I would buy a new one and wear it while hiking because they are lovely, but you know. Yeah, we fixed MP. We did it. We saved the village. It's good. Pith helmet. Show a quick picture of it. I think I have time here. That's a pith helmet. The one I had looked just like this. It was actually it was a little taller. Um, like that, except it was more tan. It's the stereotypical thing you see when you think of like British colonial troops, right? But they're nice. They're very, they're, they're very convenient for like the heat and for like, like moving around in the heat. They're lovely. Highly advised if you don't mind looking you know, like you have strong opinions on the fall of the British Empire, <laughs> you know, if you're fine with that. They're lovely. All right. Did I privatize everything I wanted to? Let me go check. I think I did. Yes, I did. Wonderful. Okay. We're looking good. I have one of those. I use it constantly outside. Yeah, no, they're, they're great. They're fantastic. Escova gets it. The hat that conquered Ethiopia. I don't, I think it was a little different for the Italians. It was the hat that conquered most of the other countries in the world that were colonial nations. Oh, I'll give you that. That's true. We need more ironclads for our fleet. That's costing us a lot. Let me go to our military ship manufacturing here. We'll go for steel holes, which should make that actually a profitable building. Wooden and wooden. There we go. That looks fine. Everything's profitable. We'll be making what we need here. Ian Talbert, a writer of verse, has arrived in home country as on a lecture tour. Uh, mm. We'll hire him as a writer. Apparently, we don't have one. Torquil Fenton is demanding a promotion. We'll give it to him because we need the armed interest behind us. Portrait of the King. We'll do that. This is a very risky event in Morganrata, folks. Um, if you're not role playing, never, never do it. Because if it's a bad painting, it will permanently fuck up the popularity of your leader. Be warned. I'll do it because we're role playing ish. Hello. Hello. Here is the Ottoman uh, ambassador. Ah. And we have some trouble there at home. Yes. Uprising uh, due to your promised reforms after the conference with the Russians and Austrians. Yes. Yes, the reforms are not totally popular uh, in the I'll be honest with you I did expect something along these lines though uh, I am shocked by how much of your nation is is uh, potentially going to rise up here worry not the the British Empire will be sending a detachment of her his majesty's military and will be aiding you in your moral and modernization effort we thank you uh, do you expect, uh, how much of your military do you still have under your control, Ambassador? How much is loyal to the Sultan? Oh, I will say the majority of it. Good. Glad to hear yeah. that. We we had heard from our operatives that there were, a lot of your military was potentially going to leave the fold, but that's fine. If you still have a lot of men loyal, the British detachment and, uh, and you will be more than capable of dealing with them. And you will find yourself yeah. a modern nation. Yeah, we search uh, modernity. Good. Um, while you're here, this also gives us a, a chance to chat very briefly about the plans after the war. Uh, after removing slavery, of course, I'm sure you'll have a lot of internal things to be doing, but we would advise your government to pursue your claims in the Levant quicker rather than slower. Uh, well, the Russians and Austrians and Germans still remember that they gave you that promise. Yeah, we want to make it quick so that they don't uh, forget. Good. We'd be willing to help you. Uh, we, we would only ask for a very, 
very uh, small favor in exchange. Yep. I, there's a there's a there's a a little there's a tiny piece of land in the Sinai Peninsula, just a narrow strip, really. That uh, we we would like to have. In exchange, we would support you in any of your reconquest efforts. And again, it's it's tiny. It's insignificant little piece of land in the Sinai. It's really a triviality. <laughs> yeah, that's don't seem to be an important. Oh, place. good. Yeah. No, of course yeah. not. It's it's uh it's again trivial beneath your interests. I mean, yeah, it's just this. We, we've had a couple interesting ideas about uh, yeah, some things we might do there, so. Do we have a deal? Uh, we'll search a monetary uh, compensation. Sorry? Uh, we will uh, want to uh, get some uh, monetary compensation against uh, this transfer of rights. Uh, we're offering to give our military support for your reconquest. If I didn't make that clear, if you want to do it by yourself, we'd be happy to just, you know, give you money for this, again, little insignificant piece of uh, land. I mean, do, do you mind going on speed one? Because uh, this play is about the, like, you know, end. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Uh, wait, is it, are the Russians, like, getting involved here? Yeah. yeah. In On whose side? <laughs> well, uh, that'll be for the Ottoman, uh, the Emperor, not you. Oh, it will, because we're joining this war. We just haven't. Oh, I apologize. Yeah. Let me go ahead and fix this uh, situation here for you. There you go. That gives you a better picture of things. Very well. Okay. Well, uh, I guess that's settled with you two then. Are the Russians still planning to get involved? The Russians are planning to get involved on the Ottoman to, side. To, yeah. to support, of course, the getting rid of slavery in the Ottoman yes. Empire. Something you care a lot about, right? Exactly. Good. Yes. Okay. And this is part Good. of our arrangement. Yes. yes. So the loyalty of the Orthodox that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. people will not be forget. Good. I'm glad to see the Russians on the right side of history. This is uh, wonderful to be to be working together for once here. The good side of history. Yes, As completely. Always. Slavery is disgusting. The right side. The right side, exactly. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. Uh, very quickly, Ambassador, for the Sultan, though, uh, do we have a deal regarding, again, that little piece of desert that doesn't matter and that you don't need to worry about? If you uh, help me to, uh, to... Yeah, I think we have, we have a deal. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad to hear it. I'm very glad to hear it. Uh, His Majesty's government will give you all the military resources uh, that you require for your returning of old lands as agreed with the other great powers in our last Congress. And uh, we'll, we'll call it a day. We look forward to continued cooperation with the the great port. Yeah, but it's a small... Uh, on the uh, Insignificant. Insignificant. Not like you know, the Egypt people have something good. No, it's, they don't use it. They don't need it. It's a nah. grain of sand. It's deserted. It's deserted. It's a grain of sand. It's, it's, yeah. it's the most beautiful place in the world. It's. I, I mean, I'm I'm definitely planning on spending some time in the, the beachhead resorts we're planning to build on the Red Sea there. So it's it'll be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. And a customs so officer, too, yeah, for man. unrelated reasons. But don't worry about that. Okay. No, I, I can't see that I can regret that deal. No, never. Never. Yeah. Britain is well known for never screwing over anyone over in the deals they make diplomatically, as we all know. So you're fine. Uh, you have only helped me. Uh, I, can't I have. Imagine. I have. Absolutely. Alrighty. Let's kill some slavers. Yeah. Pressure's on it already. Beat us, Great Britain. Beat us to it. Insignificant. It's Absolutely. Plot land that they wanted. Yes. He agrees. He understands. <laughs> yeah. I guess your guys are done. We, uh, yeah. the Imperial ambassador from the Tsar has arrived. In that case. Obviously, overhearing your. Well, no, I'm not. Um, no, we won't overhear it, of course, it's stupid. Um, 
Good day, uh, Sultan. Um, as you may know, we support Russia. Support the Tsar. Supports uh, any banning of slavery, as he is an almighty and good, merciful man. Does not allow slavery in his lands or any of his neighbors, and especially not that last piece of Europe that has still has slavery. This decree that you have now um, at least upon your aristocrats uh, which you're not very fond of um, is something that was as you may you, I'm sure you know the Russians have helped you with and we wish to continue that help against the banning of slavery uh, to ban the slavery in the, the the Ottoman Empire by aiding you with an army uh, more sizable than your apparent British allies helping you in this war. I do not know what they have offered you, uh, those treacherous hegemony bastards, but uh, our armies will help freely. I hope you accept our offer of... Uh, I'll, I'll leave you to it, you know, you lovebirds. Yes. The Russians, truly the moral crusader of our time. True. All right, so we're going to get a little insignificant piece of land in the Suez uh, for things that, you know, uh, are, are going to be kind of fun. For me, that's all I really wanted out of the situation besides getting the Ottomans to not collapse and have Austria and Russia split their land. So uh, we're, we're looking pretty good here. We still have that debt. We're still paying a bit of interest more than I would like to, but that's fine. The key here is I'm getting all our radicals down. Our standard of living has gone up a little bit here. But once we're out of the war, we'll be running a surplus again. Uh, our isolated ports are getting connected. Then we're going to work on iron mines. And then after that, I'm probably going to probably work on some paper stuff. I think we could definitely use to uh, decrease our government good prices with how much we are currently having government administrations and things like that. My my just big hope today is that we don't get in a fucking war again with the Qing and the Russians. I know they were talking about another one. So I'm really hoping we don't get that because today kind of needs to be rebuilding day. Like we need to, we need to get our shit together a little bit here. I'm going to be honest because we've been fighting important but inconvenient wars for quite some time. And we need a bunch more groceries too because it's a very important staple good at the moment for a lot of reasons. Suez Canal. Especially deals in the Middle East. Also, the Ottomans already lost the Levant and Hejaz. They have lost it at the game start, I believe. Uh, Traconir. At the start of victory, they don't have the Levant. They have, like, uh, down to Herat, I believe. Like, they do now. They hit, get, like, a reclaim, like, core territory. Cast his belly for all of this, though. Naval battle right now. Looks like our friends, the Sultan's fleet is losing. No matter. <laughs> the ironclad fleet of the British Navy is on its way to the uh, Aegean, so they'll be relieved shortly. We've put our army down just off the uh, coast north of Rhodes. We're going to be pushing deeper into Anatolia from there. I'm not even really funding our military that well, and they are doing quite fine, so we should have this uh, all dealt with by Tuesday. Music's too loud again, too. I figure out how to get my music off the track for like Discord sounds. There we go. Okay. Everything else is looking pretty good right now. We're going to go to Max Law Enforcement. We're going up on Colonial Affairs. We can afford that. Um, can we go to. No, we can't go to Laissez Faire. Any other laws that I want to change here? Probably not. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. I'd love to get industrialists in government, but I don't want the destability and loss of legitimacy of changing our government type right now. So we'll wait a little bit before we do some of those major changes. Hello there. Uh, I have a question about the game. Yes, what's up? Is, is there a way to improve infrastructure? Sorry? Infrastructure. Is there a way to improve it? 
Is there a way? I'm just having trouble understanding you, Edward. Is there a way to improve what? Infrastructures. Something sectors? Infrastructure. Inf Infrastructure? Yes. Okay, Um. yeah, so... The way you do that is you have to either build, if it's a coastal province, you can build ports and that's the easy way from game start, you can improve it, right? If you don't have, uh, if it's not a port territory, you have to build railways. So you go to click on the, uh, we got it, no, we're good. Uh, click on the bottom right, click on trade lens. That's like the little green icon, right? Do you see that? Mm -hmm. On buildings, click on railway. And then you should actually see on your map where you have like a, like a percentage numbers, right? <laughs> I don't have railways. <laughs> you don't have any what? Do you not have railways yet, Edward? I have nothing. You are Austria. So, okay. New new option. Go to the left side of your screen and click on techn uh, technology. Mm -hmm. Go to production. Railways? Yeah, click on railways. And, uh, yeah, you need, to, you need to get that research done. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're fucked until you get that. When you are done with that, you'd build railways on the provinces you like infrastructure, and then you're gonna need to also produce engines so that you have the goods for them. And that's how you get rid of it. Make sense? Okay. Yes. Cool, yeah. yeah. You're wrong. Average Austrian gameplay right there. All right, the fleet has arrived in the Aegean, but we can't get into this battle. We're gonna get rid of their fleet as soon as this is done though. So I'm gonna switch up the music here. This is, this is not quite the vibe I think we have at the moment. Let's, let's play some fun stuff. Be sure to land on a particular peninsula which names begins with G. No. No, 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 no. We're not going to Gallipoli yet. I'm not ready for that population loss. What's up, Jarhead? How are you doing? We're not going to fucking Gallipoli, all right? I'm not Winston Churchill. I don't have a cigar. And I'm not quite that fat. Fuck no. Okay, available mandate. We're gonna go ahead and go for... Yes, please. Go to development, go to trade routes. No, it's an urban, isn't it? And then we get influential trade centers, which gives Huge amounts of influence and migration attraction anywhere there are trade buildings. We'll go for bourgeoisie patronage, art studios, and we're looking pretty good here. Galway is developing into a center of realist style of arts. William, why are the fuck are we at speed five? Who the fuck did that? They need to add a feature for multiplayer where you can see who is doing this shit. I swear to God. We're gonna buy an artifact. All right, beat down organization. We're going back to speed two. Impatient ass players, I swear to God. Archaeological expedition was lost in Egypt. That's unfortunate. The British Raj just consolidated. So we have full on Raj now in India. Wonderful. They integrated a bunch of the vassals. Shelley is infamous for, not infamous, famous throughout the world. That really helped our economy too. We're getting way more money off the Raj now. Um, <laughs> compensating our, our tax losses here. We've just money taken from the Indian subcontinent. Average British gameplay. All right. I'm gonna let that, uh, sur I don't normally like to run a surplus. I will right now, cause I wanna get rid of the uh, bit of our credit here and get our interest rates down at least below 10K. See if we can do anything with decisions in the meanwhile. I'm not gonna go after Hawaii. The Suez will wait until uh, we've we've helped out the Ottomans a bit more. Where the fuck did my army go? It just magically went north. Okay. Okay. But what are you, what is you doing? That's fine. I love Vic three line changes. Oh, so many isolated sectors here. And we need to get our, our iron prices down a bit before I build those. Go to goods. How are we on iron actually right now? Yeah, still pretty big deficit. 
So I'll let the last of these finish. Not all, but we'll do like another six, five. And then what do we really need? Ammunition for wars. We're going to need more of that. We can produce a bit more, I think, but it's, it's good to have like a surplus in buildings. I'm going to build two more of those. We're going to go for throughput bonuses, so we'll build them on the home country, so we also get them during revolutions, as we saw in that last revolt. Very important. Another explosive factory. I'm going for steel frame buildings, so we're going to need a lot of these, actually, but they won't be profitable until we do that. Fertilizers. Very important. And then groceries. The way I'm going to do groceries is kind of with an eye more to our standard of living. The way I always do that is I go to my goods, click on groceries, local prices, sort by consumption, and then I build them where needed. At least within our own market. God damn it, this is all in India. Midlands. <laughs> Never mind. All the demand for it is actually in India, not in Britain. So we're chilling on groceries, which I did not expect for once. I did build a lot of them, though. Wood, I'm not going to construct. We'll let the colonies do that. Same with the paper we should do, because we need to make sure we're making enough of that. We'll do five paper in home countries with a throughput bonus. Very important to keep your paper prices low. It is usually one of your biggest good costs for your government. Then we're kind of chilling. Um, at that point, I think we need to start working on more steel and more glass and more explosives for when we go into steel frame buildings. We got a ways to go, so we'll do it slowly, but we need to get that going now rather than later. Yorkshire. Glass works in East, uh, yeah, East Anglia. And then explosive factories in the home countries. We'll make a couple more of those. Okay. Everything I'm going to do is I'm going to go after Madagascar today. Oh, yeah, I forgot. National Library and then an art gallery in London. That's a Morgan Rada thing, by the way, folks. If you've never seen that before. Henry Kresswick Rawlinson wants to take a trip to a famous site. Although the site has great archaeological importance, this would hamper our expedition enormously. Karnak. North of Luxor is considered one of the largest temple complexes of the ancient world after the elevation of Amun-Ra and Thebes. Yeah, sure. Consequences be damned. Well, whip. After years of work and study, our archaeologist Rollinson is now experienced. All right, so let's go to our interests, and I'm going to move that down to Zange. Chris! Stop listening to my stream, you little shit! Don't think I didn't see that. I saw that. Our French player is metagaming by watching my stream right now. You little fucking shit. Disgusting behavior. Disgusting behavior. Fine. I'll go after Oranja instead, you little shit. Prove it. Go fuck yourself. How about that? God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's about right. And then we need more ports too. So I'm going to do that by our isolated colonies first. So many. We've got so many colonies going right now. I believe doing this does speed up your colonial growth as well in regions, so... And then we also just need more uh, convoys. So two birds, one stone with this. Assuming we can actually get people to work them. Anvil, other ones, Congo. On. We've got a lot of colonies, folks. Look at our budget. Look at our budget. You love to see it. 
low org with one of our armies. That means we are. Okay, I'm just gonna... Hello. Hello. Who is this? This is a representative of the United States. We have uh, launched the uh, operation to find the Oregon Trail uh, in the Western uh, Frontier, American Western Frontier. Mm. And uh, we just like to inform you of this. Sure. So no great interest to us, as you like. Obviously, uh, no settlers should be should be on our on our lands in that region in the Colombian district. But if it's just explorers, you're you're welcome to do whatever you like. Yes, uh, out of our feed, this is the way I get the uh, I know. Yeah, you're gonna get you'll you'll offer the deal, which I'm fine with. We'll do historic borders. Yes, but here I gotta get uh, some lake and river, and then get the Oregon Trail. So. Yep. Yeah. You sound good for me. Well, Sounds goodbye. good. Farewell. Okay, looking good. Who is lagging us out? Parse. No idea who that is. So who are they playing? Belgium, it's Anrak. They can sometimes catch up, but I've noticed, at least in this game, they've had issues doing that. Oh no! No, 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 no. You little shit. Where is he? I'm going to kill him. I'll deal with Anorak first, actually. Oh, uh, where is he? He's not on the Discord anymore. He's still in the game? He is. Portugal, uh, we're gonna need to have a little chat here, bud. Yeah, of course, of course. We're gonna, we're gonna have a, a big chat, actually. Well, yeah, okay. Um, but so the heads. Or... Yeah. Um. So Anrak yeah. is currently not catching up, by the way, folks. Um. I'm gonna give him like another minute or two, and I'll kick him. Okay. I'll let him hot join if he wants, but that's why we're paused. Uh, uh, where? 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 Uh, I've done a dip, dip, dip low too. Is the British ambassador in Lisbon to speak with yes. the Portuguese government? Yes. Good afternoon. Welcome to our to the great city of Lisbon. How can I do it for you? Uh, what can I do? So, so, sorry to interrupt you, but yes. uh, you you can kick Belgium. He had a power search. A power search. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah. First key. Keep the game going. Yes, uh, we were, we understand that. We no. Actually, uh, uh, we are we are historic friends and allies, Portugal, yeah, and I yes. I have been up until now. His Majesty's government has had no issue supporting you in your affairs, but what you are doing right now is over the line. Uh, because. But we are not expanding anymore in, in Africa. We, Correct. We, we all, but we did. We told you when, when you had your wars in, with Russia. We told we were going to after uh, to the regions of. Uh, you South said Africa. you were going to be interested in expanding in Southeast Asia. Siam is a very different story. Siam. No. You are wow. attempting. It's Sulu. It's the Sulu. You had no interest in the Sulu, right? Yeah, but Siam is entering the war. You're not going to do anything with Siam, oh, right? What? No. Like that was the agreement with the also with the Dutch. We're the Dutch. They say just okay for the just the Sulu. I didn't know they they joined the war. Where? Well, this is very they different than we than we than we thought it was. Okay. Be it, yes, because we had your, their, those the, were the conversations in the, in Indonesia. It was just the Sulu. 
We could help you out here if, like, you stayed out of Siam, of course. We could help you win this war. I'm going to stay out, I'm going to stay out of the Siam. He's just a Sulu. The Dutch okay. also say that to us. Well, Literally. in exchange, you will be giving us Transvaal, which was going to be a different conversation with you, but now we can we can have this so everyone gains something. And yes. Burma's in the war. Oh, okay. Oops. I'm not in single player right now. What? Uh -oh. That's... Okay. Uh, we're, we will join the war then. Uh, We've been looking for a reason to go after Burma here, uh -oh. so this gives us a nice chance. We are in open conversations with, uh, with the region of Transvaal and Zanzibar. We, we literally just took Zanzibar and Transvaal for the Russians to do not get in. And we also did some agreements because of the Zulu, because of the, with the Dutch, for the Russians because they took the port in, in the Arabic police, uh, in, uh, in, in Arab, to... Mm -hmm. uh, to complicate their economy in which weeks we succeed and of course of course if you want any of the regions in, in Transvaal oh hold the, the phone oh, boy okay 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 uh we oh, congress oh, congress time oh fuck oh no well I'm hold on let me uh well, <laughs> we'll 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 do this first uh well just so i don't oh. hold up the whole game uh we'll go down oh. to speed one okay so we know Chris, do you want to Congress or do you want to try and negotiate first? We, we, we just negotiate, I suppose. Okay. Just, yep. Just, so, what the hell? The CPU just went mad. That's not the CPU. Oh. That's Chris. Um. Okay, oh. French Ambassador. We we have gotten word that you tend to intend to get yourself involved in the uh, ongoing colonial failure in Southeast Asia, which is rapidly escalating. Um. First off, what what is it that you desire here? I'm here to protect the sovereign country, all sovereign lands of Siam. No, let's let's not give the... pretenses here. You've been subjugating North African tribesmen for oh, the last ten years. True. You're planning an incursion into Morocco. We Don't high horse me, deal. Ambassador. We also had a deal with you, friends, about Morocco. You are now so literally closing in their borders, and we told you, you stay out of Moroccan business, we stay out in Senegal. What was the difficult? And it was a deal made 10 years ago. What's, what is the effort? When we just gone for the Sulu, and it's just the Sulu, the Dutch can confirm that for you. It's not it about that. It to Siam, though. It doesn't belong because it's Are you really oh, willing to escalate major war not seen since the time of our claim on the French Ooh. throne over Siam? I've got no problem with the British. I just think it's no. We're in the war though. You will be fighting us. Do you not see that? We've been defending the Sulu. I'll be sending a small force to Siam to No 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 <laughs> This is now a matter of British colonial interest in Southeast Asia. We will be escalating as needed to succeed in this conflict and to... We don't want another war. We don't want a European war, obviously, but we will. We are intending to send as many men as needed. Explain this to France. French ambassador, we are in good relationship with the France. We, of course, we know about your interests. When we do ma did make a good deal 10 years ago, and the Dutch can back us up here. You just need to go talk with the Dutch. And the other, and the other thing is that we, we are suffering because of your government decisions. It was the Napoleon. It was the, the situation in your capital. Now Morocco. Now the situation. What? Do, we do not, don't want, obviously don't want to escalate war. You're just going to... Portugal, 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 give me a moment. Uh, this obviously was a war you have conducted, but this is now a meeting between two great powers. We need no disrespect, but uh, pipe down for a moment. Ambassador, are you willing to see your fleet destroyed here in this war? Because we have allowed for now, without comment, for you to continue to expand the French fleet. That has been fine. It has not gotten out of hand. If you intend to go after our interests abroad, as you are showing now, we intend to leave you with no fleet like at the end of the Napoleonic Wars, to make that very expeditiously clear to you, since it will be in direct 
action against our interests. That's something we cannot allow. I, again, you uh, seem to be willy-nilly picking allies here, there, and everywhere across the world. Um, I am of our allies. They have uh, Port the Portuguese ambassador, remind me, how long have we been allied? Our only long-term ally. Yes, for centuries now. Correct. Willy-nilly, indeed. I mean, with the whole... Um, France, France. France. Land, France. Lands of Siam. Hold on, Portugal. Let, let him speak. Go on. Why are you over the lands of Siam? Oh, we're not going after Siam. Siam joined the war. Sulu, Sulu owned si Siam. Oh, sorry, Siam owned Sulu. The retreat Correct. Retreat. Wait, are they? It's Siamese land. Are they? No, they are. They are a tributary. He's right. Oh, they are. Tri oh my. Yeah. Oh, I did not see that. Do, but, but, and if the British are like... looking to invade other people's sovereign lands, like that, we cannot allow that wait, to happen. Wait, 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 wait. To be fair, the Sulu is in the Indonesian archipelago, which has been claimed by yes, the Dutch yes. and the Portuguese powers oh and the Spanish. God, just did that flight the tributary like five minutes ago. Oh, God damn it. Is what it is. Moving on. France. Uh, you know as well as Portugal. One moment, man. I am speaking here. Um... You know as well as I do that the Siamese are not a nation distinguished enough to be having colonial empires in Indonesia. We will not be trespassing on the sovereignty of Siam. Burma, as you know, is another matter, and we consider it a part of the Greater Raj Administrative Region. We entered the, we had talks with the Portuguese as soon as it started because we also thought that they were going to go after Siam, and we wanted to put an end to that. When we realized what was happening, uh, we renegotiated the settlement. Siam will remain completely sovereign in this war. The Sulu are going to the Portuguese, and Burma will be brought back into the fold underneath the Raja's administrative region. We have no intention of claiming Siam or allowing it to be claimed by others, if that is your concern. Hmm. Ah, wonderful. Well, uh, once again, I can tell the Admiralty uh, to stand down. Uh, you'll allow me to write a quick message, so... We can get the fleet off of high alert there. No! Uh, I no! To, uh, uh... Well, at least the capital will no longer smell like spoiled fucking onions of your ambassadors trotting about pretending to be an empire. You secondhand Englishman. British ambassador, uh, I must uh, apologize. It was my mistake. Uh, we didn't know that Simon Tributary, the Sulu, the Sulu in last minute. Uh, it's a deep, it's 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 our mistake. We admit that. Ooh, it was the the process of inf in information that came too late to our hands. Uh, and, 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 and he's he's not he's not here anymore. He's not here anymore. Yeah, yeah I'm, t I'm talking <laughs> role playing okay. right now. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's it was the process the process of the information that no, I mean, we we never have perfect information outside of Europe, right? So we also were misinformed and uh, jumped oh. to conclusions. So we've we've reached, despite almost going to war with the French, it seems a, a situation we can both abide by. So we're glad of that yeah, and. Of course, oh and wow! Is Siam a player? Really? No, they're not. Uh, the AI just dipped out of the war. Oh. Um, so now Burma's stuck. In, uh, is Burma still in the war? No, you got uh, what you wanted. No. Uh. You got the Sulu. Oh my God, Jesus! Well, that uh, was a rocky again? roller coaster of a of a uh, war there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, back to the other matter, though. We we are going to need uh, to to discuss Transvaal with you, which uh, yes, was was liberated while we were busy with Russian affairs. Yes, and we also had to deal with the Dutch because of the Zulu down there. What did the Dutch expect? Uh, uh, yes, to expect. Either one of two things, or they advanced to orange, or you advanced to orange. We're already going uh, into orange. They have no claim on it besides yes, their ethnic one. Uh, 
But yes, we also had some relative information with uh, with now with the uh, the Prussians. Uh, About what? Of course, there uh, of course there are uh, exp expansionary down in South Africa, and also uh, the uh, Germans. Some, uh, there's some rumors. Uh, I don't know this for concrete. Some rumors that some people are saying that. They have right now have an interest in Ethiopia. Oh, we don't so, care about that. Or, again, irrelevant. Yes, what is it about the Dutch, though? They said Oranja. Uh, we're taking that already, so it's irrelevant. Yes, yeah, so. What was right the other now, thing? It's, 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 you know, if you want to add some deals with Transvaal or Zanzibar, because we took those lands to, to at least stop the Russians, uh, at least during that critical period of time. Mm. So. Yeah, we of course we are the oldest alliance in the world right now with, uh, with Great Britain, and if you want to, if the British government wants to discuss anything further, and of course we witnessed right now. Uh, the we we French understand why the, you took it with the Russians, but we also let's not pretend you did use that as an opportunity yes, to grow your African yes, possessions. Yes. Transvaal is a land that uh, we have had an interest in in quite some time, so. Well, we, 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 since we are we, allies we are. and we're, we're not going to negotiate a gunpoint here, uh, we are willing to give yeah, you half a million British pounds, the transference of Transvaal to the Orange Sovereign Republic. Uh, Non-negotiable, but we feel it is a bidding so, compensation. But, yeah, but we also want to... Uh, okay. What can I do for you? Uh, whilst the Dutch are... Well, sorry, whilst the Belgians are joining, can I, can I leave and rejoin? Because I am still out of sync. You're fine. Uh, actually, are you like, is the game like not working for you in this, like, or are you just? It's going fine, but I am a little worried it might not work. No. You, know? you might actually cause more problems by doing that, rejoining and stuff All like right. that. You might break the All game. Right, so, on. yeah, you're, you're chilling. Uh, come to me, though, if you have something where, like, your game is not matching up with what other people see and stuff. That's when there's an actual desync, but we should be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yep, we should be chilling. You. Yep, you're. Uh, cool. Uh, in regarding all of uh, the negotiations, we, uh, of course, that monetary reasons seems reasonable with us, but we also want, because of the French standpoint right now, that we, we really want to make, the, to make the Moroccan deal a little more cautious. I, w I want to like, underline something for you here, Portugal. We are friends, we are working with you, yes. but mm -hmm. you, have, you, have, uh, you have claimed far too much in Africa. And to be frank with you, uh, if you're if you're pushing any further against European powers colonially right now, and if you piss off anyone, uh, I think your house of cards is going to come down. So you need to be playing very carefully at the moment. And so, yeah, word of we, advice to an ally: we we the only uh, the only thing we want to make sure is that the Moroccan people don't go or don't go into French hands. Um, we also don't want to see that happen, but uh, again. Play your cards very well. We are now, it seems, on the brink with the French, and we are in no... We do not desire a war. We don't doubt we can win it, but we don't want yes. to fight the second great power in the world at the moment. It's only been 30 so, years yeah, since the end of the Napoleonic Wars. We, we accept that deal, then. Okay, we have terms, then. Out of roleplay, well, I'll just do a save at it, so don't worry about it. Yeah, half a meal to, to turn us all. Yep, that is correct. We have a deal, then. Wonderful. Then uh, we're all in agreement on the state of Africa, and you have gotten what you wanted in Southeast Asia. So uh, yeah. we are we are glad uh, everyone got what they wanted here. Hello, this is uh, representative of the United States wanting to speak to Portugal. Yeah, I, I will get out of your hair. Farewell. Oh Jesus, that was rocky. Uh, we're not doing universal suffrage, not yet. I'm going to keep it on landed as long as I can right now. We will go there eventually, but I'm not going to like hyper liberalize Britain really early after that revolution happens. So, uh, we'll go there. Just not quite yet. You're siding with Britain must be a fun moment for you, uh, mentally and morally. Okay. Hello. Salutations. Ah, from the colonies. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Glad to see a, an Anglo face around here for once in our foreign ministry. It is good to see you too. I am Hugh Langton, 
the governor of Upper Canada, and I come here on behalf of Upper and Lower Canada. As we have come to know, you, a few years back, have decided to abandon your protectionist policies. Am I mistaken? Uh, we have uh, begun to conduct free trade in terms of the British core market in Great Britain and the colonies, I'm sure, are pursuing uh, certain amounts of that, though. Uh, it's obviously rather complex in terms of colonial, like, tariffs and, and things like that, but yes, more or less, you are right. Yes. Well, it has become clearer and clearer that Canadian goods can no longer really compete with the European one, considering we have to cross the entire ocean. So it is for this reason that I have come into contact with Lower Canada in order to propose a unification of sorts of all the colonies in America. And in, the, in the Canadian region? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I seek, I seek your approval as I should. Um, we frankly don't have any issue with that. It would make things less complicated. So many different administrative regions there. Uh, the only thing we do worry about is ensuring that obviously the, the company itself, the Hudson Bay Company, uh, continues to have it is, its monopolies over uh, the fur trade and other goods that it has. Obviously had charters from His Majesty's government for generations. Uh, as long as that's maintained, we don't have any issue of a centralized government in Canada. Perfect. I think I have a button for that right now, actually. Yeah, I also have a button for that right now. Oh, hopefully don't there break the game, because I just clicked my button as well. There you go. Nope. Cool. Looks good. Yes. I'm glad we could come to an agreement. Absolutely. Regarding the lack of com competition for your goods in the Canadian region, um, yeah. you obviously you still get preferred buying status within the crown and things of that nature. Uh, do you have the? Oh, they just drop. Yeah, now that I'm double oost, I'm gonna leave and rejoin. Okay, go for it. I'll keep it paused for you. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you have the Merchant Maritime fleet to be able to like sustain your good exports right now? Is that is that an issue for you or? I mean, not really, no. We just would like a more centralized government so we can more easily oh, I see. our trade and increases of and course. increase our productions and mostly to make sure that, you know, the colony stays afloat. Yes, yes, of course. I was just concerned that there was a larger issue in terms of uh, good exports and things like that. We want to make sure that things are moving very freely throughout the Commonwealth. Of course. Good. Well, then in that case, yes. Um, and uh, in the future as well, we have no issue of you consolidating the Hudson Bay Company as long as they have their old rights in the Columbian District as well. Uh, it is of easier things are done there, the less headache we have for our ministers back home in London. Then that is perfect. Good. Glad to hear it. Uh, let me see something else as well real quickly. And I... Uh, in order to facilitate this as well, we're going to reduce your your payments to us a little bit as well um, ah, yes. for the time being, so you can you can go ahead and get your government working properly there, and it alleviates those concerns. So we hope that helps you a little bit. Uh, that very much will. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Well, Governor, thank you for making the journey across the pond, and uh, God save the king. God save the king. What happened to Seattle? I mean, Seattle doesn't exist yet. Uh, we're going to get the Americans, all the, all the states, though. They'll get Idaho. I don't know why they'd want it, but they can have Idaho. And then Oregon and Washington. There is no Seattle. <laughs> it's like, oh, let's see, where is it? It's like right here. Nope, nothing. Seattle just booms when America gets Washington and the logging industry there just goes crazy. That's when Seattle gets really... Uh, huge. 
we should not be paused unless Faye already rejoins. They did. Okay. Oh, we have a colonial matter in Australia as well. Proletariat revolution. No, 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 no. I don't think so. It appears we just have troops ready to go there, which is wonderful. Oh, they're stuck. Let's not do that. Hmm. Okay. Ammunition is the only good that we're having issues with right now, but I wonder if it's we don't have enough. Actually, we don't have enough. Okay. We'll get those done. Loyalists or radicals have not gone down as quickly as I expected here, but we are still pretty high on taxes, which is probably a big part of that. We're up to speed three since we've got no wars in the world right now. We'll see if everyone can run that. That looks good. Let's see if we actually should get rid of any of these consumption taxes right now. Wow, poor people actually have a pretty big excess of wages right now. Transportation tax is really hurting. Probably want to get rid of that then. Same with the upper class. All right, we'll remove that. Generates 19,000. So we'll still be in a surplus. Get rid of the rest of that debt. We still have credit of 4.2 million. Given at the height of the war of Russia, we were up to, I think, like 16 or 17 million in debt. We're looking really good. Now that we've alleviated, like, the main tax burden, besides the pulling tax on our middle and upper class, that should help out a lot there as well. We probably just need more transportation as well, I think, given... I have been using a lot of it to uh, help out with some of our, our mines and stuff. No, it's fine. There. Yeah, they really want universal suffrage, so we are going to have to start passing that pretty soon. Art Academy is the home country. It has become a major center of realist movement, producing some of the finest works of our generation. We're going to let the capitalists get power off of that. International trend of radical thought and revolutionary sentiments is coming to an end. Springtime of revolutions is over. Good. We're going to have a little period of conservative enlightenment in Europe here. It will not last for long, but for now at least. And I will go for universal suffrage. No, God. And we're going to need to be at the point we're going to get a revolution. The landed gentry will start a civil war if we go for that, which... I can't, I can't suppress either because they're in government. Yeah, it's not good. It's... our internal politics are not very unified at the moment. Good. Dealt with. Hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, I think we need to get more active in Africa. Is there anything else we can really do, though? I don't want to go into Ethiopia because I don't really care about it. It's the state of Benin. It's got alliance with Denmark. We don't really give a shit, so let's go in there. I didn't want to go this aggressive this early in Africa, but also... We, uh, we're getting kind of left in the dust here. Like, we've got a lot of colonies, but they're not very big compared. To, I mean, look at, like, the French, right? Huge amount of land. The Russians are in here now. The Portuguese have a ton. The Danes have a ton. We got to get more active in Africa. What's up, Blitzky? How are you doing? Cool. 
carve out the rest of the Niger Delta. I'm not going to go into Sokoto. We're not going to, we're not going to do that. Um, cause that would definitely get us into a major power war and definitely cause like a scramble, which we don't want to see, but Benin, that would block out more countries from getting any deeper into the Niger Delta region, which we see as strategic since so many of our countries are involved there. You accidentally bought CK3. Yeah. Goodbye. Social life. Are you enjoying it? I know Grover. What's up? Absolutely disgusting behavior. The British not dominating in Africa. Horrible. See if there's any other regions we can go into here. Not really. We just got kind of outpaced here by the French. Maybe we do make a play for Sakoto. No, we'll be seen as the bad guy. That would really hurt us. I want to go after Madagascar, but that would start a war with the French. We don't want that. I don't care about Ethiopia much like uh, historically we don't. We took Oman during the Raj is consolidation, so we've got the true shield states. Persia still is something we really have to consider here. About the rest of this region. Kabul has got a trade agreement with the Russians. Punjab. We'll go after Punjab too here. I'm going to end the war of Benin, then we go after Punjab. We got to start playing the great game a bit more. I'm just really trying to avoid war of Britain, into, uh, Russia until we get in stronger shape here. I want us to have uh, breach loading artillery. Then I'm going to instigate another conflict with the Russians, most likely. We need to have a major military advantage over them, which we don't have right now. Let's do a Niger River expedition as well. Since we are very active there right now. We'll send our Admiral. Gilbert Brown. Grand Campaign 2 plans are going wonderful. Thank you for the follow. Let's see what the name was. Brian MCM. Responsible behavior. Victory is nothing but responsible behavior. I mean, come on now. Much to the dismay of the Royal Society, it is was did I do that? Someone else do that. Uh, it was noted today that despite the promises to promote the country's archaeology, no effort was made. That is true. Um, no, we sent an expedition to Egypt. It just didn't go well. God, something's going on in Southeast Asia again as well. We're going to promote Martin. Order a masterwork painting as well. It's only half a million. So we can't do anything about archaeology at the moment. Okay, what's going on in Asia? Civil war in Japan. We're not very interested in that. Put up. No. I saw really dark blue and for a second I was like, are the French in, in Siam? After a few weeks of preparation and travel, the expedition to plot the course of the river Niger, uh, led by Gilbert Brown, has arrived at the starting point. Uh-oh, we got a desync. No. How are our episodes going for the last bits of uh, GC1? Um, I've started, I'm the way I'm planning on doing the Hoi 4 portion of the portion of the Grand Campaign videos is I'm gonna do like a little, it's gonna be like a movie. So it's gonna be just one episode. Uh, there won't be multiple parts. There's only like three streams of Hoi 4. So it'll just be in like one probably like hour, 20 minute long video uh, is how I'm going to do that. I have started on it. I'm not very far in it. I think I mentioned this before. I haven't done much editing over the summer. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. And uh, it's, I've been doing other things. So I'll get around to it. But I'm not going to force myself to just make those videos when they're going to turn out shit because I'm not going to want to make them right. So we'll see. Grand Campaign 2 is all planned. It's all ready to go. The only thing we need is Roads to Power to come out, the next uh, CK3 DLC, and then all the mods I want to update. So, hello. hello. This is a uh, representative of the United States. Um, we came here, I came here to warn you, uh, what, not, not warn you, but inform you of um, us discussing further of the matter of Brazil with Portugal. And we have an alliance, a defensive pact with Portugal now. So the same mm -hmm. as you, if anyone attacks uh, or violates the sovereignty of Portugal, we will intervene. Better it be France or anyone else. Understood. We're glad to hear uh, that Portugal has more support then. They definitely need it after their recent uh, 
expeditions, that's for sure. But in the treaty, if mm. uh, somebody, um... I'm sorry, I'm sorry to barge in. We have, uh, we, uh, I think it's for the greatest interest of, of Americans and uh, and the British that we, the Russians got a uh, hold of Ethiopia. And I think you know why because oh they, they are expanding added, very quickly. Yes, uh, they had a deal also with the with the with the uh, the rumors were true. The the Germans had a deal with them. To be fair, this is not uh, my interest, so continue. I will flow listen. Yes, you want to talk with Great Britain? One moment. I have to. I have to make some preventative measures here. Um, we don't have to call the uh, Congress of Europe for this. It's just an no, expansion. No. Maybe speak with Russia, but no, we're we're gonna we're gonna work on some preventative measures in regards to this. Don't worry. Uh, we're very concerned about the Russian expansion in Africa. It, this is unacceptable yeah. to us. But to be very frank with you, yes, Portugal, we, we are we are making ourselves stronger. So when we do inevitably get into a major conflict with the Russians, we're ready. Uh, we're kind of biding our time here. Okay. okay. They, they have done a lot of things that we would see as crossing the line. But we want to hopefully get the Ottomans a bit stronger. And we want to get stronger ourselves before we confront do, them on uh, this. Do you accept, uh, can, I, can we do the transaction right now? Uh, the the terms of song because we, I think I'm going to start investing in my military force too. Uh, I can't just like blanket send you money. We'll have to save edit it. Okay, it's in the end of the. Or you could just do a bank roll. Um, no, no, that's, that's I'll forget to uh, uphold my my. Uh, I'll forget my about it and we'll go over. It. Well, like I said, we'll just do a save edit for it. So. Okay. If, if we had a bunch of other mods or the old mod that I made, like we could just transfer, but we don't. So we kind of just got to do edits for this stuff, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Like a state transfer to and Hawaii for. For what? Uh, you made you made a mod that that was like the state transfer to from uh, Hawaii for. Uh, we, uh, there was the Babylon Roleplay mod back in the day, which I think is still being developed. I don't know. I think there's a team still working on that. Um, it was a mod I made for the Victory server. Uh, multiply we, we did in the old server. It, we included a bunch of other mods, and we added some custom features. It was really nice. But I left it and got out of it and let them go independent when that whole shit went down with a coup. Old news. Um, there's a mod I think we might use if we do another game, though, which is uh, the one that cohen has been using. I watched one of his YouTube videos, and it looked like a pretty good mod, and I think that has transfer. So we might run that next time. Um, do you want to continue Portugal, or... Uh, just yeah, it's just because of the transaction. Uh, we can't do it right now, so you'll have to wait. Yeah. The things are getting heated up. Yeah, they are. They're coming to a head for a lot of... Oh, God, I have a revolution. I mean, you can just say to them, um, if they want to demand that you stop expanding to Africa, that uh, you will do a save at it. I mean, out of our... Yeah, and I, think, I think I'm, I, I'm going to have a talk. In roleplay, role though, make it clear to like, other players that this has already happened, though. Transvaal is currently part of a Ranja and a British like protectorate. So we just can't do the save at it, right? But it that is the state of things. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. Our crew. Anything else that was uh, going to be discussed here? Uh. Mm, so I, as I was um, speaking, um, before we got interrupted by Portugal, um, uh, the matter of Brazil has been discussed, and we were at the defense effect and I was explaining that the treaty said if somebody has a claim a legitimate reason to attack Portugal so if Portugal violates European claims whether it be in Africa Asia or whatever uh, then we will not intervene because that is a war that we support the legitimate side on not support mm -hmm. but so so if somebody just attacks Portugal without justifying it really good 
we would intervene, but other than other, uh, if somebody has legitimate claim on Portugal, then we would not. That was uh, the treaty. Understandable. Well, uh, we, we understand it, and we'll take that into mind when interacting with other countries. And we are surprised to see America getting involved in things outside of the um, American continents, but a, your choice. This was an agreement on Brazil. This was our offer. So we only get involved if our allies uh, or any country under our influence um, get attacked. We wouldn't get involved in European affairs uh, any other way. I see. Cool. Sounds good well, to us. I shall be heading uh, back to Washington. Very well, Ambassador. Goodbye. All right, I'm going to try and grab a double protectorate on Punjab and Kabul here. That will probably set off the Russians, but that's fine. They have taken Persia, so I don't see any issue here. So we'll get a bit spicy, though. I'm going to wait to see if he shows up first before we do anything else. Uh, I've time to spend a lot of time on uh, a lot of Euro to have a somewhat complete game. You gotta buy all the DLCs to make it worth it, and it's a lot. I recommend you use, like, a key site for that, by the way. Don't buy it on Steam. You can save a lot of money on key sites for this shit. Try to create central powers of Austria and Germany? No. Germany's been actually, like, siding, like they have an alliance with Russia right now, which is wild. Comraden. What is the choose event outcome, I redoom? So, like, if you use that, you can basically make me, uh, make a decision for, like, one of the events in the game. So, like, a journal entry... Um, it's like a response to an event though they pop up pretty quick and I choose them pretty quick so you'll have to be very fast with that uh, so yeah anything like that basically up to you Aranya is the pronunciation really Aranya the J is a Y Aranya someone uh when I was traveling one time I was traveling with these like South African girls and they were telling me because I, I was at, we were talking a bit about like the history of South Africa and I brought up the Boers and the Boer War and they got so pissed off and offended and apparently like you can't like Boer is a slur apparently. Does anyone know anything about that? I never looked it up, but I should have. They come they made the comparison to the N-word, which I don't know about that, but I don't know. It might just be like a light a word you're not supposed to say or something very weird. Because I, like, studied, you know, I read a lot about the Boer Wars back in the day. Like, they're very interesting and stuff, so. Uh, it is a slur. Wow, okay. Huh, did not know that. I just thought it was, like, an ethnic group that used to describe someone. It means farmer in Dutch. Is it, like, calling someone a hick, or is it, like, a full-blown racial slur? Oh shit, I'm about to not get this. Uh, there we go. We will, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go above 50 infamy, but we will do this. All right, I'm just gonna try and push through universal suffrage. I'll stop it if we are gonna get a revolution though. I'm gonna see if I can get it in time. So you, sometimes you kind of just have to race for a reform with the revolutions because they'll go away if you do do it, so. Bit of an inconvenience. Van Buren, he was an interesting guy. Is that who the Americans have right now? No, they've got Gordon Ogle, an industrialist. A, a boar deep dive on Wikipedia? I don't know, multiplayer games, I don't tend to go deep on Wikipedia, because like in multiplayer, especially in Vic, if you're not staring at it the whole time, shit goes bad real quick. All right, Siam's neutral. Siam's almost acting like a player. I want to check this again just to make sure. No. Weird. Maybe the Portuguese AI has become intelligent. Explosives. Okay. All right, I'm building up our Navy a bit more. I want to be ready for a major confrontation because I kind of see that on the horizon with Africa and with the Russians. So I want to make sure that we have more than enough navy to not have to worry about any of the other powers. We can afford it right now, too. Thankfully. That's a war music going, too. We're, we're fighting some wars.
one and four. Here we go. Is there a possibility of going fascist in the 1800s or 1850s, whatever date it is? No. Fascism didn't become a thing until the early 20th century, right? I, it was born out of the nationalism at the end of the 19th century and kind of came around. So I think in terms of how it works in Vic 3 is you need to get like pan-nationalism. Where is it? Society. You need pan-nationalism to fire. Right here, right? And then there is like something else that happens a bit after. I don't know if you need like another genetics, I think maybe too. There's a couple of techs I know you need, and then like the game will fire off an event chain where fascism as an ideology will appear in the game. And then it becomes like a separate political faction. So no, you can't get it that early. I think like earliest you get is like the absolute tail end of the 19th century. You usually get it like at the kind of end game, typically Blitzky. Van Buren, didn't he actually do some important stuff? He's one of those presidents I've just never read about a lot, to be honest with you. No, this is not violent enough. Here we go. Let's try this. It's a proper classic. Shit, that is speeding up. Currently, a requirement for the party is to exist, re, uh, research political agitation. Probably, you need corporate governance too, I'd imagine. You should. Ah, I see, yeah, political agitation. Single party state, outlawed dissent, and uh, British fascist party appears. Yep, you are completely right. You should, you should, yeah, that makes sense. Not realize there was a tech for it. A court has ordered the removal of sexually explicit obscene passages from a romance novel published in Wales. The fuck are the Welsh up to over there? Neither of those matter very much for us. Sailors in the Midlands have refused to embark on voyages out of port. The scope of the mutiny calls for a delicate approach to the situation. We're going to detain them as disloyal to the empire. Of, empire, of course. Uh, the last delivery of material to the palace of Westminster turned out to be poor. We will wait. I'm trying to find a good music playlist here. Oh, here we go. This is a classic. We can't go wrong with this. Uh, are there rules about construction sectors? No, I, there's no formal rule set for this besides like just don't blatantly metagame. So uh, it's a small group. I've checked the save after every session and there hasn't been any major metagaming so far. I'm going to just keep it that way because I enjoy it like that until we get like just really bad rule breaking. Or if we decide to start doing more multiplayer in the server, then I'd probably end up making a rule set. But just nothing extreme. The largest amount is, I think, like me and Austria right now. We're around like 130, so it's not too bad. I'm about to go with uh, steel frame buildings, though, which will change things a lot. But that will also cause like it to spread throughout Europe. So we won't have it for too long ahead of everyone else. I remember one pope wrote erotica, if I remember correctly. Which pope was that? There were a lot of like wild fucking popes, though. Like, who was that pope in like the 15th century that had like all the orgies and shit? Like, just absolutely wild. Mussolini wrote romance novels? That I have to look up. Oh no, he actually did. The Cardinal's Mistress. Holy shit. It's on Goodreads too, that's hilarious. In 1909, Benito Mussolini, then a 26 year old, was working in Trent as secretary to the Socialist Chamber of Labor. He was a socialist before a fascist, by the way, folks. I think everyone knows that, though. He received a salary of $24 a month, which he supplemented by giving French lessons. His work as secretary included services uh, as assistant to Cesar Batista, blah, 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 blah. While working as an editor, he wrote a romance novel. It's called The Cardinal's Mistress.
That's terrifying. If anyone wants some light reading, you know, to get you in the mood, there's a great book for you. I'm sure a man of Mussolini's taste and disposition was fully capable of knowing what a a woman looked like without clothes at that age. I'm sure. Definitely. I bet I bet if you read that book, it would be the definition of like the, the men uh, writing women memes, you know? <laughs> when he just knows nothing about women and he's writing from a man's perspective about how he thinks it would be, you know? I'm calling it now. I will never read that, but I would guess heavily. General Roderick Brisbane noticed several unrest in Leinster, has proposed using the army to suppress agitation in the area. Yes, indeed. We have a wrathful colonial administer for our king, so yes, we're going to be very aggressive. Why are the Americans and the Dutch at war right now? Oh, over Hawaii. Yeah, the Dutch tried to take Hawaii, folks, and the Americans didn't like that, so I guess it escalated. War in Punjab is going very well. It's overwhelming them with the Raj's army and our supplementary forces there. Alejandro the Sixth? Is that the one? Let me look. No, I don't want Alejandro, the football player. The Venetian. <laughs> Alexander is one of the most controversial of the Renaissance popes, partly because he acknowledged fathering several children by his mistresses, plural. As a result, his italicized name, Borgia, became a key word for libertinism and nepotism. As a painting of one of his mistresses, he had good taste. I'll give him that. Oh, he was the Pope that went after Severinarola. Interesting. Here to follow, nightly. <laughs> of Alexander's many mistresses, one of his favorites was Venozza di Catini, born in 42, and it was married in to three different men. The relationship began in 1470, and she had four children from the Pope, which he openly acknowledged. Cesar, Giovanni, Gandhi, and Lucrezia. Um, Rodrigo only legitimized his children after becoming Pope. Whoa. Big balls. He had pretended that his four children of Venezia were his nieces and nephews, and that they were fathered by her husbands. Another mistress was the beautiful Giulia Farnese, wife of Orsini Orsini. Orsino Orsini. It's a name right there. That's from a very powerful family. She was the mother of Laura Orsini, born in 92, probably the daughter of Alexander. He lavished vast sons on them, gave them wonderful villas. I mean, if you ask me, he's he's doing the papacy correctly, you know. You know, sometimes people call the act of lovemaking heavenly, but you can you can never truly claim to be making heavenly lovemaking if you're not the Pope, right? So he he actually got to say that to his mistresses, which, you know, that's pretty cool. That's a cool thing to be able to do. All right, our government is in complete, complete shambles at the moment, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, it's not a good situation. Oh. Gilbert Brown has returned triumphantly. The course and termination of the Niger River has been plotted. Wonderful. Successful exploration. Pope Stephen the Sixth. Stephen the Sixth. I hope the advent of an administrative government and being added to CK3 will be possible to create something similar to pornocracy. The fuck's a pornocracy? Pope Pius II wrote an erotic novel titled The Tale of Two Lovers, and it's the most famous piece of erotic literature in the Renaissance. Hold the fuck up. Tale of Two Lovers. Oh my god, you're right. What the fuck? Is a novel of Aeneas Sylvanus Piccolomini, the future Pope Pius II, is one of the earliest examples of a postulary novel, full of erotic imagery. Nice. Uh, the first edition was published in Cologne in 67, 1467. 
The novel set in Siena, Italy, and centers on the love story of Lucretia, a married woman, and Euryalus. Yuri Alice. One of the men waiting for the Duke of Austria. Wow, okay. Didn't know that either. It's a fun one. These popes be wildin'. Alright, I don't think we get universal suffrage here. I'm gonna have to cancel it. We're gonna still get a civil war. It's just gonna have to be with the other groups. I do not want to have to fight. <sighs> the vested powers right now. The period of papal history where the house of Tasculum controlled the papacy. Got you. Reign of the Harlots. They were just very scandalous. Never read about that either. All right. Punjab has been made into a protectorate. Wonderful. I will save transfer that into India at the Raj when uh, the session is done. Now we just have to finish off in Kabul. Did my army teleport again or is it just hiding? Oh, there it is. Go back to our former government, which is a little bit more legitimate here. Looking good. Becoming Pope after writing erotica. That is something. I mean, like, you got to remember the popes were like political, right? The papacy was a political position. So they're dealing with very powerful, influential men who, you know, Definitely enjoyed life to the fullest and always. All right, so Pope Stephen the Sixth. The circumstances of his election as Pope are unclear, but he was sponsored by one of the most powerful Roman families, the Dukes of Spoleto. Stephen is chiefly remembered in connection with his conduct towards the remains of Pope Formosus. The rotting corpse of Formosus was exhumed and put on trial. I have, I have read about this before an unwilling synod of the Roman clergy in his so-called cadaver synod. In January of 897, pressure from Spoleto contingent and Stephen's fury with Formosus probably precipitated this extraordinary event. Of the corpse propped up on a throne, a deacon was appointed to answer for the deceased pontiff. During the trier, trial, Formosus' corpse was condemned for performing the functions of a bishop when he had been deposed and for accepting the papacy while he was a bishop of Porto. Among revived charges that had been leveled against him in the strife during the pontificate of jo uh, John VIII, the corpse was found guilty, stripped of sacred vestments, deprived of three fingers of the right hand, clad in the garb of a layman, and buried. It was then re-exhumed again from the grave and thrown into the Tiber River. He was later murdered uh, and put on trial for his actions and strangled to death while in prison. He had an interesting life. You got to give him that. Putting a dead pope on trial and being strangled to death in prison right after. That's a life uh, lived, certainly. A lot of the popes are wild. They have pretty interesting histories. Catholic Church be wild as fuck. Normally, I'd build more construction sectors, but we are about to get steel frame buildings, so we're going to need that. We're fine with what we've got right now. Sergius III was the first of the pornoc pornocracy. Port Sergius III, a.k.a. Port John the Eleventh, his reign was marked the beginning of what was known as the pornocracy. Ah, damn. All right. Fighting in the Afghan mountains. What can go wrong? Yeah, so we are going to get a revolution against the intelligentsia, yeah, which is a real shame. And the rural folk and the trade unionists. God damn it. If we, if we get long enough here, we can we can hopefully exile. No, we can't exile the dissident. Huge. This might stop this. Maybe. Can we do anything to get the intelligentsia to like us more here? Timed modifier. Scientific society is unhappy. How long do we have that for? Twenty months. If we last that long, we probably won't have them revolting. Cool. Opportunistic member of the armed forces defected to the trade unionists. Well, 
We'll try and bring them back. Fuck you. Fuck you so much. Pope Leo X, who partied so hard, he depleted the papal treasury. He supposedly exclaimed, God has given us the papacy, let us enjoy it. I mean, honestly, why not? Why not? Well, that's strong as fuck. We can make trade routes without having declared interest. That's insanity. Holy shit. Okay. Um, well, let's make some changes then. I said before, listen to Pontifex. They go over all the popes from Peter to Francis and rank them. That's uh, uh, the podcast you'd mentioned before, right, Truck on Air? Why am I getting lag right now? Someone's behind. No? Weird. Cool. Kabul is also a protectorate. So I'm going to put Punjab into the Raj, and then Kabul I'm going to keep as a separate protectorate. Mainly just to offset the Russian expansion there. We are formally back in the great game. French furniture. All the wood. Through Morgan Rada. I keep forgetting to do that because the notifications don't work properly. We did get that astronomer too, so what do we still need? We need an anthropologist and we need a geologist. We can't get an anthropologist, so we'll get a geologist. Then we'll have almost all our scientists. Conduct a session at the opera. We'll send our writer on a newspaper novel tour. We do another Egypt expedition? No. Not quite. I think we can do the Pacific expedition right now. Not too much is going on. We'll send Admiral Andrew Gleaney to go survey the Pacific. I know somewhat the papal history, but mainly just, like, in relation to, like, Italian politics more than anything else. It's just, there's so much to it. Papal history and the history of Rome and the church is so complicated and intertwines through everything else in Europe. I just also have a strong disliking for the Catholic Church, so can be very difficult trying to care about it sometimes, but it is important too. I don't know, man. Fucking children. Kinda, kinda... Makes you not like institutions like that. There's still disagreement on whether the research expedition should have a focus, and if so, which field the trip should focus on. We'll do... a general research trip. Oh, good. War against Egypt. We're gonna get involved there. Ambassador of great power attended today's concert conducted by the French Republic, but did not leave a uh, 
a good hair about the performance, but also they're French, so they don't have any good taste, do they? It's to be expected. Maybe if we made the entire production uh, based on a, a, a Frenchman and his 12 lovers, you know, he'd enjoy it more. French decadence knows no bounds, and we can't, you know, we can't support. All right, we'll redeploy the, the second to the Levant. They only just got home from that war in northern India, and they're already going to war again for the Empire. Beautiful. We'll send Charles Darwin, uh, a naturalist, along with the expedition to the to the Pacific. The elite of our art-loving country has pushed for an artist's prize for the best paintings. Sure. Why not? We're stupid wealthy right now. What's up, Dante? Feels like a late medieval version of Party King. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, shit. Aristocratic Revolt? We actually have to send an army. I'll send our little one. We'll send the third. Preparations for the Pacific Expedition are complete. Andrew Glennie has chosen the Fly. Great name as his flagship. We will go to Ocean. So what are what are the Ottomans taking in this war? Syria, Transjordan, Palestine, and Hejaz. So they're gonna get Mecca as well. That's huge. Palestine, Transjordan, and Syria. Cool. They're not gonna take the Sinai then. Das Wrangled Entry of the Gods into Valhalla is a good classical piece to listen to while playing. I will throw it up. Das Wrangled. A Wagner piece? Oh, boy. I don't know, man. Fascism hasn't been invented yet. Nationalism's around, so I guess it works. Wagner's very good, though. Richard Wagner making a non incredibly over dramatic piece of music challenge. Difficulty impossible. From what I heard, isn't the victory just Excel sheet gameplay? All strategy games are, dude. If you listen to the Vic 2 players, they'll cry about that all day long, but like, you know, their opinion doesn't really matter, so. All strategy games are spreadsheet simulators. They really are, right? It's just how in depth it is and for what it is about. For a game that focuses primarily on economic and population mechanics, yes, it's going to be much more focused on the details of the stats. All the games are. I think a lot of players just bitch about that in Paradox because it's not a spreadsheet simulator about military armies that they can move around, right? That's why people bitch about Vic 3 in that context. So, I suppose, but I don't, I don't think it's any different from the other games. Personally. If you're not here for the details on a strategy game, you know, go play Civ or play a board game or something. Okay. The Russians are really trying to reconcile with the Ottomans. It's kind of hilarious. From my perspective, CK3 is just an incest simulator as well as CK2. I mean, a lot of players play it like that, certainly. You know. You can play it like that. That's a choice you can make. Definitely. I don't advise playing that way for your own mental health, but, you know, live your best life and all that. Let's start preparing for all the steel we're going to need in, like, two months when we get... Oh, what's it called? Oh, nice. We got canning as well. We'll go for canned meats. It does something for our giant deficit on groceries. All the economics of the world stacking up here. 
We're doing really good, actually. We're right behind the Raj. We're ahead of the French. We're well ahead of the Russians. They were ahead of us for a while there, but we've, after the war, kind of blown up here a fair bit. The Russians sent 24 divisions. The Ottomans have 38. We sent 47. We're actually the largest force currently in the Levant here. The Ottomans do have another large task force over by Tobruk as well. Oh, is that Tobruk? I don't think it is. I think I have the wrong area I'm thinking about. No, El Alamein. El Saloum. Tobruk's over in Tunisia, isn't it? Let me look that up. No, I was right. That is Tobruk. It's literally Tobruk. I doubted myself. I doubted my geography knowledge. That's on me. That is Tobruk. I want to I want to flex on the Russians. We're going to flex on the Russians by navally invading Alexandria. with our entire fleet. We're going to this is this is a political flex on the Russians right now. I'll um, take your family. Yes, what's up? Lord uh my king. Well, my king. Your majesty. Um you're speaking to the I'm, foreign minister, but uh yes, I do represent his majesty. Well, what can I do for you? Excellency. Your yes. excellency. Yes. Rather. Um, Rather. I am I am the the ambassador of the Netherlands. I've come to uh, announce the good news of our victory over the uh, United States of America. Did you actually uh, beat them for Hawaii? Yes. Oh I my did. God, you on did. My on my own. Uh, oh, we do. We do have to ask. How did you do that? We're curious, legitimately now. Well, the the Hawaiian natives rose up against mm -hmm. my rule, as you'd expect after. You know, just a few years of of. Um, they haven't learned their place. Yes. You know, yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. Still, go on. There were still a few things that needed ironing out. Mm. Uh, and we had had negotiations with the Americans, who had expressed interest in in the Hawaiian Islands. Mm. We were not uninclined to the idea of a uh, formal truce, a uh, formal pact of friendship with the Americans, and. And some financial boon for us. Um, and under the pretense of uh, not wanting to press the issue immediately, uh, they 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 pushed back the negotiations, to which we were very much happy for. And having seen the the natives rebel, they they uh, involved themselves against me. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes. So I I had a swift swift uh, invasion of the islands once again and led an invasion force into California whereas their troops were stuck on the muddy beaches of, of uh, Holland where they were unable to, to penetrate our defenses um, the the garrison in, in the US mainland was, was light so let me get this let me get this straight a war was begun over Hawaii due to the American one in power there they sent their pitiful little navy across the Atlantic and attempted to land with their marines in the Netherlands and were promptly dealt with, as one would expect, and then they sued for yes. peace. Uh, and, and then they capitulated, yes, because uh, I was about to land in, in California, I was about to land in New York, and I was about to land in Florida. Um, so I must say this is kind and... of embarrassing given that they are an ex-colony of ours, uh, so I'd like to apologize for their... Uh... For their weakness, I, I suppose, just, though I it has like been to useful to you. That, of course. Um, I would just like to point out that any pretensions of, you know, Americans rambling about being a major power of this world <laughs> is pure yeah. fantasy. Mm -hmm. um, and I do believe, I do believe um, their extravagant claims uh, are not to be, are not to be heeded.
I think many many of us will have to reconsider the brash statements they have a uh, history of making here. Indeed, that is. I must say, it, it. We do not wish to dispute the power of the Dutch, as uh, we all know you did uh, install a monarch on our own throne at one point. But that's water under the bridge. You have become quite powerful after the end of the Napoleonic Wars, though. I would not have put my money on you if I had been a betting man on this situation. It is shocking to... I mean, America's... Uh, the American president obviously seriously made some poor decisions strategically, but I am flabbergasted that you have won this conflict. Was the prize worth it, Ambassador? Well, it was It was rather an, an easy war, to be entirely fair, so there was not much sacrifice <laughs> for this prize. That is, as the kids say around here in London, a bit of a flex, Ambassador, uh, but congratulations are in order. In, in light of this, um, of this uh, good uh, goodwill, I would like to propose uh, a, um, a deal for you, uh, Britain. Of course. Um, you see, the port of Dakar is a very fine port for your navy in Senegal in which uh that i oh that god I man you're speaking about africa pull out a map please I, I barely remember where the hell timbuktu is okay uh do you see the first dutch ports on the western coast of africa that western little... coast um Glenna, yes yes i do believe so north of uh sierra leone Super that area yeah north uh dutch in, senegal in yes yeah Mm -hmm. So I, I propose that I exchange Dakar to you, which is a, a very good port, uh, for your lands in British Guinea that are surrounded my own lands, just a bit further south. Guinea, 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 Guinea. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> a sizable difference in size there, Ambassador. Uh, do you have another port you you want to spice it up? I'll tell you what, I, I'll give you the rest of Guinea there. Uh, I'm sure I can speak to the cabinet about it. But you also would need to give us Dutch Maritania, your port up there as well. Uh, that's That seems like a fair agreement. Um, that will be possible once I am completely surrounded in those lands. So... Um, it'll be a bit retro... like me game mechs-wise. So it'll be a bit oh, interactive. Yes. But once, once that's completed, I can transfer it to you. Ah, uh, good show, good show. Uh, I think this is quite agreeable to his majesty. I'll speak with the man himself, but, uh, well, he always loves uh, another colony for the empire, you know? Uh, we always smoke a good cigar yeah, over, actually. over new lands under the, under the, um, the great sun. Oh, I got steel buildings. Is that all, uh, this deal entails, though, before we shake on anything? Yes, yes, uh, yes mm. of course, Ambassador. This is more, more uh, of a, a side note than the real issue of the day. Ah. In my victory against the Americans, of course. Indeed. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's a lot of conversation in every cafe in Europe right now about that. Um, I am sure. I am sure as well. I'm sure as well. I um, I will be. I will be announcing uh, these news to the other ambassadors of Europe. Of Thank course. You for your time. And next time the Americans come yapping, remind them of their poor showing. <laughs> we will indeed. Congratulations again, Ambassador. Farewell. Enjoy your bye, moment. Bye. The Dutch beat the Americans. I cannot fucking believe that. To be fair, American Navy invading the like the Netherlands, not not the play. And they, they took the oh man, okay. Dutch going ham right now. It's hilarious. Are you got another song to play? Sure. I'm gonna have to copy and paste that one though. French. I refuse to say French words on the stream. Wait, is that the fascist Italian song? I'm not playing that. I put it into uh, YouTube and I got a fascist song, so we're gonna we're gonna not do that. Unless you're just speaking in Italian or French right now. Technically Venetian, but it is minority in Ita Italy, uh, so we haven't been recognized as a nation. Ah. You were speaking Venetian. I see. I thought those were song names and I were putting them into YouTube. <laughs> Fair. Fair. 
hasn't there been like a pretty big movement for a long time for Venice to get like like semi-independent status like San Monaco? I, think I read something about that. Uh, well, there's like, I think 15 of us in this game right now. 14 of us in this game. All right, we did, by the way, successfully navally uh, land in Alexandria, and we have taken Cairo. Oh, I see. I do have a Venetian flag in the background. I bought it while I was in Venice. I love the Venetian flag. I think it's the coolest in history, honestly. It's just got, like... It's just very unique. Like, the drip of it is amazing. And then the tassels at the end, it's just an incredible flag. So, yes, it, it's amazing. It's my favorite flag. I've got the Scottish flag over there, too, like the old one. All right, I'm going to go speak a bit with the Ottomans. Hello there. Hi. Uh, this is General John Calburn. Of His Majesty's Home Imperial Army. Greetings. Greetings. We have chased the rapscallions out of the Nile. Rest assured. Yeah. I hope the it was a beautiful place. It, it was. We did burn quite a lot, but uh, it's it, it it seemed to be beautiful before we did a lot of burning fields and things of that nature. Uh, we did also grab a couple. Uh, artifacts, and there's this very nice obelisk I absolutely had to have for my summer residence uh, over there in Cornwall. I hope you don't mind, but uh, are you okay over there in Libya? Do you need any aid? Uh, we we could I could send orders to the uh, to the second to go assist you if you like. No, there's no need. Uh, mm. The Libyan people can uh, deal with it. They're... Ah, a true a true imperialist. I understand why his majesty likes the Ottomans, so you get it. Yeah, they're... They can deal uh, with that. They, they fight uh, worse than this. Well, of course. The the periphery of any empire will always be suffered its greatest burdens, as they should. They are, after all, under the control of the great empires of the world, so it's just... Yourself, of course, and the Empire, for which the sun never sets upon. Anything else I can do to help you in this this war here before we clean up in uh, in Egypt? Who's mopping up the last uh, of these these devils? Yeah, I received the news that some, hmm. uh, don't know, Olin, Dutch people have taken land on the, in the Yemeni's tribe. Uh, have they, oh. other, have they planned to expand, or... I should hope not. I have not noticed that. Um, I'll have to. I'll have to send a uh, a message back home immediately to the to the foreign office. But I can't imagine his, his Majesty's government would take kindly to this. Yeah, we are we are worried by the Asian. In uh, as far as we saw it, uh, we we were expecting you to take the rest of the Arabian Peninsula, besides our holdings, of course, over there in the east. That was also our intention. And we, of course, fully support you in this matter. I think perhaps a negotiation with the Dutch uh, after the conclusion of this war would be in order. Know that you have the full support of His Majesty's government. I, I would assume I am but a humble uh, field marshal, of course, as you can see from my fine uniform here and many, many killed foreigners, but I'm sure His Majesty will support you. Yeah, we are pleased by, uh, mm, by good. His uh, Majesty's. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Well, uh, I'll get, be getting back to the front. Then. Uh, anything else I can do to help you, just uh, let me know. An ally is basically an honorary Brit after all, so just just let me know. We're really glad to hear that. And before I leave, I'd just like to say I am absolutely chuffed to be killing foreigners in Egypt alongside such great fighting men as your Ottoman troops. They are. They do a service to the name of your sultan, sir. There is traitors really deserve all this server suffering. No, of course they do. I mean, they were, they're supposed to be Ottoman anyway, as I understand it. I just studied a bit in Oxford, but the peripheries of the world never interested me greatly. Didn't they used to be under your control? Yeah, they will be under our control. 
Not good. Well, in that case, they're getting what they deserve, but I'll make sure to tell the boys to give them an extra strong whipping. Be assured of that. Don't forget to uh, bring a gift of the of Egyptian land into your home. Ah, worry not. Hot ship already sails for London town with the that rather nice obelisk guy. Again, absolutely had to have for my, my summer residence. I think it will go very nicely with uh, the tulip garden I've put there. Uh, you're always welcome, of course, if you'd like to... Uh, visit in London and do let me know. Yeah, to see the hide of the civilization. Couldn't have put it better myself, sir. The Grand Port I have seen several times, it is a great city. Uh, an old one, much like Rome herself. But if you wish to see the peak of human achievement, there is nothing closer than London. Yeah. <sighs> Soon I will be home. Anyway, back to the front, sir. An honor. Yeah, I'm going back to with uh, my cavalry. Very well. All right, the Ottomans are doing fine. Wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful. We're in a bit of a deficit right now, but that's mainly just because of the war, so I'm not worried about it. We, we've taken everything, so. The Dutch in Yemen is not okay, though. That will require a longer conversation. London town is full of shit. You're full of shit. Goddamn foreigners. They can't appreciate a beautiful city in it. The Uber elite controlling the fate of the world? Yeah. Always has been, always will be. We have a lot of authority. Um, I'm probably going to throw in another tax if there's one we can do responsibly here. Music tax. Uh, that's about it. I will raise our taxation levels here. And then we're going to have some decrees we can do. So. We'll do social mobility, I think. Admiral Bramwell has made public statements in support of the Chartist Party, bringing into question the political neutrality of the military. Were they ever neutral after the war? I don't think so. Beautiful. The war is over. The Ottomans grow stronger. Good. This is what we wanted. I wanted to make the Ottomans relevant and strong again to offset the Russians, and that's gone very well, so I'm happy. Want to listen to the National Anthem of the Ottoman Empire during the reign of Abdul Masid? Yeah, it's absolutely top tier. I will play it. It is top fucking tier. Hello. Hello there. Yes. It's me, uh, Robert Baldwin, governor of Upper Canada. I would like to again request your aid for the Confederation of Canada. Yes, rather. Uh, continue as, as previously stated. Um... Let me go ahead and click some buttons here. Hopefully that helped you a bit there. Yes, thank you. Or rather, so, anything else I can do for you? Oh no, everything is fine. Good, good, good. Uh, uh, Governor, I'm sure you're already aware, but the situation with the Americans was rather shocking. Uh, yes, actually. Uh, you know, you understand the. Uh, the 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 america's a bit more than i do and i'm sure the king uh what do you think the consequences are for the american government after this loss how will they respond i i'm not sure exactly mm. they might have their eyes set on the columbia district uh well Since that's very much part of the map is rather uh, ugly so i could understand that anything else do you think they might want revenge of course no i don't think they'll be quick to it after uh, the good beating they took there a good chance might be that they might try to go after canada <laughs> if they cannot beat the dutch how on earth do they expect to take on his majesty's empire? Laughable. Well, 
you never know. The uh, the Americans sure are sometimes. How can we say? Pragmatic. Is that the right word? If they are truly pragmatic, perhaps their very short memory would allow them to recall the War of 1812. Something I do believe your nation uh, knows much about. Yes, very much mm. so. Hmm. Well, if they do try anything, I suppose a good thrashing and potential expansion of Canadian land in New England would be rather enjoyable to both of us. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. I never did like the, uh, they call that northern state, the, the, the one of all the fish. I always thought Maine would look a lot better in Canada, don't you? Yeah. Uh. Well, of course. Mm. It just kind of, it's ugly, you know? It's it is. Kind it of is. Kind of chicken. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And Americans barely know how to fish either. We practically invented it, so we make much better use. Of course. Mm. Well, anything else, Governor? No, actually, I have other matters to attend to, so... Glory, Jolly good. Uh, glory to the king. Uh, safe travels back, and God save the king. God save the king. Good man. Good governors. Very nice to have. We're looking pretty good. It's New England. Who's the U.S. president? It is Daniel Webster. He is the head of the petite bourgeoisie. He's gone all history enough. I don't expect us to see anyone historic besides maybe Lincoln. Oh, God. The beetle has crawled into the ear of Andrew Glenny. Oh, oh God. Without immediate medical help, this can impede the expedition progress. I mean, we got to help this man out. That's like actually nightmare fuel there. What the fuck is all this? What the fuck is all this? Oh, no, 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 It appears the British is... You, you hear a faint British accent heavy breathing as the ambassador enters the room. Would you like some tea, sir? Civilized. Right. That's a wonderful start. Absolutely. Two sugars and a spot of cream if you make that in this godforsaken. I mean, in the Russian Empire. Milk? <laughs> Do I be out some milk? Of course. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, I've been dispatched by His Majesty to ascertain the nature of the conflict ongoing in the Imperial possession of Kabul. Uh, yes, it's a terrible manager. situation. I ah, agreed. It appears that uh, the Shahdom of uh, Kabul uh, made an effort to uh, expand their domains at the expense of uh, Harad. Ah, and yes. In return, uh, Harad, which is already a dominion of uh, Russia, and uh, as a protectorate, we uh, sought to uh, defend our protectorate before uh, any lasting harm could ha occur. <laughs> yes. Quite a simple affair. Just yes. It is a protection of a unfortunate, of our unfortunate, and it's an unfortunate event. But uh, I, I do not understand why Great Britain could have stopped, couldn't have stopped its own. Uh, I, honestly, we received no word from the Shah in Kabul about this situation and had to get it second hand from the, the governor of the Raj, I'm afraid. That is, uh, that is terrible, my friend. Terrible. Ah, agreed. Agreed. So, I think we need to, uh, we can make it all pretend that the Shah has the ability to conduct any sort of diplomacy here, but he does not. So, uh, why don't you speak with uh, the, the proper authorities here, which I invested by his majesty to do so? We do not want to escalate this, obviously, but given we are aware of the situation now, they are a possession. 
and we will be forced to come to their aid if uh, anything unseemly happens, so we have no issue with the Russians ensuring the Shah is properly given a, a whipping for his actions, but uh, any form of border changes would result in unfavorable outcomes for everyone. Is already uh, laid claim to uh, certain. I thought we had agreed to negotiate uh, properly my, here. My friend, you are speaking in uh, my court uh, in Moscow. Uh, yes. Please lower your tone. My we tone. Are, we are already halfway into these lands you are talking about, and that is not uh, by our own decision. That is the decision of Kabul, and Erat, I'm only defending. Good. Then there will be no border changes. You'll ensure this matter is done with. Uh, the, there will be no more aggression, and we'll end things there. It's, it's aiding, quite agreeable. Aiding, quite agreeable. Mm. Our allies, and that's yes, of course. I'm glad. Okay, so no border changes. You're going to whip the Kabulians. We'll call it a day. Everyone goes home happy. Well, uh, we already occupy these lands uh, that you... Uh, I, I'm Your armies have been moving good. over them. You are You are true about that. That is true. Yes, and uh, do you have a our point? Armies, and our armies have already made uh, many friends with these people in these lands, so. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it is a terrible situation. We, we were just enjoying we were just a spot enjoying of tea stuff. along the border here. While mm. That's why friendship is something uh, we all love. Yeah. That should be true. To suggest a friendship it. results in border stones moving, though, that's another matter. That is the issue. That is what I'm oh! talking about. The border stones are slowly moving. With more and more are they sentient? Are they rolling down the hill? Well, it seems that the desert is. Are they <laughs> crabs from East Asia that are alive and have decided to migrate, sir? <laughs> Guys, I just have a quick question. It's just a friendly talk over. over of course. And, uh, and, mm. um, and some border stones that happen to move. Be sentient and moving, apparently. We are already having a nice campfire. My own army. My own son is actually in Kabul, enjoying the uh, the uh, hospitalities of the people there. They've already accepted their new uh, imperial. Oh, that reminds me. His Majesty did give me an explicit order on that. I hope you can convey it to your son. Uh, please have him uh, backhand the Shah properly while in the capital of Kabul, uh, and tell him His Majesty sends his regards. If you wouldn't mind. Uh, unrelated to negotiations, I'm sure you would be happy to comply. Uh, I'm sure that we is, can arrangement. <laughs> we can continue arrangement, exactly. We could Good. have another nice tea. Uh, uh, you, maybe you could invite me over <laughs> to London. Words. Yes. London, <laughs> yeah, of, of course. Uh, we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to, like, we'll have to change the bathroom facilities to allow for uh, shitting out in the open. I believe that's still the custom here in Russia, yes? After the cholera outbreak, what? I know that you you were very careful. I mean, well, no, no less than uh, the British are. The British, uh, the, the British would expect to find in uh, London itself just you know completely drenched. We use the Thames like civilized people. What do you mean? <laughs> Absurd. Uh, that is your your term mm. of civilization. Then uh, it is uh, savagery to me. So well, Cambridge potato, is, uh, potato. Quite no potato, in your case, I suppose. <laughs> Guys, I just have a quick question. Plenty of golden potatoes. Yeah, what's up, Adderall Play? What's up? Uh, yeah, I, I have um, an issue. I have the tech to upgrade to skirmish infantry, uh -huh. uh, but my troop, when I click on upgrade, um, they stay as line infantry. Um, uh, do you have the... Uh, uh, resources to upgrade them it will upgrade automatically yeah. it might take I, a I, little i know like months. some of my troops are upgraded the others aren't and i have all the resources i need did you are click the upgrade all... button yeah yeah i did it's grayed out now and if you look at you, the picture i sent you're working on it but it won't automatically happen it will take a while no no i know but if you look at the the image i just sent in this diplo oh chat, shit uh, chat the fuck is that it says Upgrade light infantry to line infantry. Line infantry cannot be upgraded to line infantry as the unit types are too different. And so, like, so there's two options. 
I destroy my whole army and redo it myself as skirmish infantry, which is a bit annoying. Or two, is it possible? Try, to try before you do that. Get rid of your conscripts and try. Okay. The five conscripts you have there. Remove those first, and then reopen the military menu, and then see if you can. Is there anyone left? You're gonna have to remove your army and rebuild it. Uh, remind me, I'll give you some money for the inconvenience for the impact that you're gonna have to do on your country. Um, it, do you think it's possible to save at it at the end of the session, rather than? So I can't, I can't automatically build buildings without breaking the save and causing a lot of problems. So I can't rebuild automatically your armed forces. What I can do though okay. is that you like remove them right now, rebuild them, and I'll give you money to compensate for like the the lost production essentially, right? All right. Cool. And you can do with that whatever you like. Yep. Oh, but what is this? Back to the matter at hand. Indeed. <laughs> we will pick the appropriate uh, dispension of uh, proclivities towards uh, who is where. Well, <laughs> <the> Ambassador, <laughs> uh, I must say. I had a lover nice ride over. Would you like me to tell you about it? <laughs> His Majesty's government has recently undergone a shipbuilding effort and modernization program, and I was happy to be carried on this fine diplomatic mission upon the flagship of the British Empire, a great monstrosity of steel and firepower. You will see, I guess not now that you moved your capital after certain cholera reasons in the port of St. Petersburg. I would like to <laughs> softly remind you and His Majesty's government is no longer the one that you were still admittedly quite thrashed by a mere decade past. I do not wish to give threats for no reason, but given we are playing a game of moving border stones, I should remind you of the power of the British Empire. It tell me, sir, well, this, this, what uh, happened to your queen? Did she yeah. die from the cholera? <laughs> she was dealt with. She was dealt with. <laughs> We deal with our problems, as you well know. I see, I see. Plenty of problems, I hear. Did you have to clean her bed? Oh. The vault, I, can bet I believe the Thames bed, but, uh, deals with all such <laughs> refuse, does it not? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. The Thames. From, from York I don't think we're being unreasonable here. I'm not asking for the annexation of Herat, nor... The return of a sovereign Persia, which many in London does think is reasonable. I'm simply proposing that you get a hold of your magical border stones and keep them where they are. <laughs> uh, will, that is, uh, yeah, we will ahead. endeavor to try. Trying uh, is the fool's attempt. I did not take you for fools in Russia. We will endeavor to. Endeavoring! Consider. Ah! <laughs> He seems to have pulled out a dictionary. <laughs> Literacy is important, but unfortunately quite absent in this region, so bravo, sir. No less than uh, what you might find in Cambridge, but uh, that's another yeah. matter entirely. I'm an Oxford man myself, so quite agreed. <laughs> Was there another matter than a uh, British uh, ambassador? Or... So we have, we are in agreement, or do I need to uh, let His Majesty know of a rather displeasing outcome? Well, I Your guess uh, we'll consider it. Uh, that is, uh, like, uh, like my ambassador said, and that is as far well, as it goes. I can return with that, I suppose. But uh, well. I'm sure you can imagine the displeasure of his majesty and what might occur. So I'll leave that up to you. We will wait for your reply in the peace deal and make our actions accordingly, sir. Very well. <laughs> Very well. Before I leave, I did have a formal gift from his majesty uh, for the Tsar. Oh, thank you very much. It is a roll of <laughs> fine silk toilet paper imbued with gold thread to remind him of our long history. I'm sure he'll enjoy it. 
I'll enjoy it very much. Mm. Thank you very much. It's quite, it's quite nice on uh, on the rear end, I must say. I, I sampled a small piece. Don't tell His Majesty on the way over. It's got, it has Persian silks attached to it. Agreed. There's no finer thing to shit upon. Besides the graves of Russians <laughs> fighting the British Empire, of course. But I digress. Anyway, we will await your response. Farewell. Good day. Hope your ship doesn't hit uh, an iceberg. Yes, bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Preposterous. Hope your ship does not hit a shipbird. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Ah, uh, let's see here. Uh, my lord, proceed to vanquish those Muscovite vulgar barbarians. I propose that this course of action is most advantageous. I, I agree. I think a good beating down will have to come here. I'm confident our position out of, like, right now is Britain, so I think we could probably dick down the Russians pretty hard if we need to here, so we'll see what they do. I also got us in a war in uh, this region that we don't have a border on, so we're kind of fucked here for the moment. Because Punjab apparently won't join. I should have just annexed Punjab, but oh well. Yeah, I got no border. Unfortunate. Wait, I am going to really start consolidating in India because I do not want the Russians getting close. That was a historic giant fear of of the British Empire was the Russians would get into India. So we're going to consolidate everything here and also make it very clear to them that we are now very willing to back up our interests in Central Asia with, with arms. So Dinosaur skull. Nice. Esthenopteran. Prehistoric fish. Uh, the Raj is an AI meta player. Unfortunately. Ah! That's a shame. They took uh, a big chunk of Kabul. Very well. Okay. It's time to look at Russia again. Okay. Persia sided with uh, Sint. Tally Hill, lads. I think we need to make a little show of force here. Let's send the fleet to the uh, the Baltic. What the fuck is this? Oh, we're still on anthems. Shit may get very spicy very fast here, folks. Persia is not a player. And I am going to escalate this, too. Let's see what they do. Secret police, I think we'll go for. Unless we have something better. Yeah. 
secret police it is. Be interested to jump in if you guys are planning to do something like this again after this campaign is concluded. Uh, yeah, we probably will play this for a while longer. Like I said before, I'm just going to keep this campaign going until, like, you know, the save becomes unplayable, the save breaks, or we, like, you know, go probably below, like, 10 players. Uh, and I may start a new one, but I am going to need at least one other person to help me run these games. I'm not doing it alone, so those two conditions are dependent on a new game. We'll see. No, Persia's not a player. They are, however, a vassal of Russia, which is very much a player. Working on breach loading artillery. How far away are we on better rifles as well? Do that in just a moment as well. Almost have better rifles, huge. Our kill rate is gonna go through the roof. The second construction phase, the interior decoration of the parliament building installation of the huge bells of the clock tower are pending. Should be about done with the new government building in Westminster. I need more. I'm going to do this just so I can make this diplomatic play. We're going to make our, our feelings felt here to the Russians quite plainly. I'm very just very curious to see if they're going to escalate this. They may be like Herat though, and they don't know that Persia is about to have like giant chunks taken out of them, but we'll see. They're also very overstretched, so they might just be being smart and not escalating. We'll see. Because I am going to dunk on Russia here if they go in. Kind of hoping they do. I want them to fuck around and find out. Hmm. The house has reached a consistency. It's evident that the barbaric and cruel actions of the Russians pose significant threat to the empire's esteemed role. I mean, we've all seen the ex we've all seen the British Museum's uh, piece on the pro-magnum Russians, right? We all know that they are highly capable of uh, civilized conduct, to be sure. Have you ever had a debate in the British Parliament? They sound uh, the opposite of fancy. No, I know. But in this uh, time period, I think they'd be a little bit different. Well, modern British, I think, Parliament would be a lot different. I don't know that, though. There's a Brit who knows better. Correct me. They probably still yelled a lot, but they use fancier words, you know. It was worse? Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, they didn't go in. All right. It's clobbering time. For the annexation of the regions of Kabul taken by the Russians, we are going to respond in kind with the liberation of territory in southern Persia to remind the Russians of their place in the great game. I've also guaranteed Circassia, so I'm basically making the threat that if they fuck with us, there's going to be a free... Circassian nation down here that's going to be a lot bigger. So hopefully they understand the what I'm putting out. I assume so. The tall is very intelligent, so I'm sure he gets the drift of my jib. Right, that works. All right, now we're going to dick on some Persians for fun. Modern British Parliament is really fun to watch. It's just them roasting each other and occasionally talking about policy. Here we go. No, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. We advance the front. 
Full army. It's got everything we need. Yep, there we go. When we were reaching out of the enclaves, a letter was waiting for Andrew Glenny, stating that his fiance back in Great Bitten had married another man. That's rough, dude. Yeah, you'll you'll find another woman. You know, it's fine. If you actually like successfully complete a great exploration, you'll have no issue finding a wife. I'm sure. I'm sure. Your conflict has commenced with the liberation of southern Persia. Assume the role of Maestros of Devastation. What's up, Master? Uh, hello. Um, hello! I'd like to formally invite you to the, uh, Be Beethoven, uh, the Beethoven, um, there, sorry, um... Musical conference, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, we have already dispatched, uh, some of our finest musicians and enjoyers of the arts. We are we'll be happy right. to attend. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, be, yes, um, I must go talk to the French about this, too. Enjoy? Yes, of course. You too. You too. Enjoy it. Enjoy the, the conference and the uh, brilliant composers that we all will have here to, 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 the, to see. Indeed. Ah. We playing as the empire that never sleeps? Oh, yes. We're, we're bullying Russians right now. Oh, they're expanding in Yemen. Buddy, buddy. You gotta slow down there. Hmm. Russia and uh, France just declared a rivalry. Oh. Oh no, that's awful. France and Russia had so much incentive to cooperate after the Napoleonic Wars as well. That's wild. That's a natural alliance that just went the way of the Dodo. I assume the Dodo's dead in 1855. I'm just, I'll have to send an expedition to go kill a bunch of Dodos so I can make that statement. Or maybe a better way to put it is uh, that alliance is going the way of the Persians. This is actually not the Vic 3 soundtrack, but yes, the soundtrack is amazing for Vic 3, I agree with you. Good. good. Explosives are being dealt with, and we're going to be pretty big chilling here. Damn. We need so many groceries. We're fine back home, but I think it's the colonies. They're getting, uh... Used to a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyone speaking British gives me PTSD? Yeah, as an Indian, I can understand that. I'm uh, not me as an Indian, obviously, but... Given Hello. where you're from. Hello! This is a representative of the U.S. I should have um, informed most of the great powers about this earlier, but we have started the process of banning slavery and have not yet come to a civil war. Oh, good for you, I guess. We, we are glad that you're you're starting that process. A little late, but uh, better late than never. What I was asking uh, for you, if you are going to intervene, be on the enemy side. And we know that you don't want to intervene on your side. We have discussed that already. Mm -hmm. But we do not want anyone supporting in any way the Confederates if they do rebel. The who? <laughs> Would uh... intervene. 
Uh, we don't plan on it. Okay. It's your own affair. Uh, we, we hope to see the end of slavery in the Americas. And beyond that, uh, we do honor the Monroe uh, sphere, so no. Okay. Well, I'll ask be any Wish you the best of luck in your process. Did I get front lines? I got front lines. Nice. That was an example of Venetian. Nice. What's up? Sorry, yeah, out of roleplay, just uh, just to ask, like, what happened in Persia? How did you? <laughs> the the you border stones it? are moving. It's pretty weird, isn't it? I've also no, noticed no, no. phenomenon happening for us now. I, okay, okay, but. <laughs> okay, it's but strange. But it's a, a Central Asian ours magic, ours I suppose. Ours wasn't intentional. Did you actually? No, nor was ours. They're just they're magically rolling down the hill. I don't know how. This is OC, but uh, I'll see you guys. Out later. of roleplay, yeah. I, I uh, Persia, I declared one sin because I'm trying to like consolidate uh, India. Persia joined on sin's side, oh, and yeah, then uh, right, yeah, no, I, and now I, I'm demanding shit know. from them. Yeah, yeah. All, all I wanted to know. I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, catch your head. Have fun at the airport. But uh, yeah, but back yeah, in roleplay, yeah. yeah. The border stones are moving. We don't know why. Our armies are are nearby <laughs> for some reason, but uh, worry not. We'll 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 see to this. You, you got lucky there. All right. Well, mm. see you. Yeah, yep. I'll just go back to my old. Uh, yeah. Right. Sounds good. Yeah, I wondered about that. He didn't. He didn't even know it was happening, which is what happened with uh, Barat. So, he is what it is. Alrighty, let's uh, test out these new weapons we've developed here. We've got some. State-of-the-art weaponry we're going to put to use on the Persians here. See how this goes. Hello, Mike. How are you doing? Yeah, I, I knew Venetian was a separate language. Uh, Blitzky, like, how widespread is its usage in, like, Venice? Like, do most people speak it, or do they speak, like, traditional Italian still? I'm curious about that. Dude, my dad is obsessed with Italian culture and Italian language. He's been learning Italian for like five years now, I think, or something. He like takes he like takes online classes for it. He's got like he does his Duolingo every day. He goes to Italy like twice a year and like just refuses to speak in English. Like he'll try and only speak in Italian and shit like that. It's funny. I mean, good for him for putting in the effort to learn language. But he's that kind of person that definitely I'm I don't know this for sure, but I can presume it's one of the cases where he probably thinks he speaks Italian better than he actually does, you know? I think a lot of foreigners from the other countries have that mindset if they know the language. I could be wrong. What do you mean by traditional Italian? You're not gonna get me to respond to that so you can cancel me on Twitter. You know what I mean. I know there are different sub-dialects. I know like there's the Sicilian language, there's a bunch of other separate language. But like the main one spoken by like the majority of Italians. Yeah, fuck off, I know what you're doing. Trying to get me canceled on Twitter and shit. Jokes on you, I stream Paradox games. You know how much I'd have to do to get canceled as a Paradox streamer? You got guys like Tommy K and Grisha out there. I'm chilling. It's all good. All good. Not that those two are comparable, but you know what I mean. All right, wonderful. We have excavated a dinosaur? Fossils in Britain, I guess. Let's we'll see if we can do something else. All right, let's start work on our next series of advanced rifles. And I think a Northwest Passage expedition would be wonderful too. Venetian uh, technically is somewhat co-official language in Montenegro, really. But in, oh yeah, because of like their historical control in like Ragusa and stuff, Blitzky. But in Vento as a region, depends if you're a tourist or local. I mean, more the locals, Blitzky. Like, uh, do they speak it more than other types of Italian? There's a Wagner group propaganda mod for Hoi 4. Uh, no, I'm not surprised. Uh, that's, I didn't know that though. That's wild. 
Is it the timeline where they like overthrow Putin? Well, that's a bird. Uh, we are still monarchy, but we have voting rights now. So blended voting has been added. Let's get rid of the fifth here. Baking powder, wonderful. deal of our gigantic deficit of groceries which we have for some reason an expedition to the arctic is one of the most dangerous maritime maneuvers it takes a good captain to accept this challenge and lead the venture to a happy end oh bramwell he did well before what do you think was the most important job in this era like, just broadly speaking, yeah, probably engineers. Maybe teachers, honestly, given, like, the importance of, like, actually trying to make your country literate, even in developed ones like the UK. I'd say teacher or engineer. Bro wants to put in place legal guardianship for women. Jesus, no. Oh, and backwards? England had landing voted in the Middle Ages. Listen, we're... We're going to get to universal suffrage, but I need to, like, not have another gigantic civil war, you know? An upcoming sea voyage into the unknown means a long period of isolation. James Dundas has offered to use his contacts to appoint ship chaplains to boost morale. Sure. Absolutely. Why not? It's mostly used in daily life rather than formal conversation, so the Venetian language more of an informal setting in terms of being spoken. That's interesting. Gotcha. That's cool that it's still alive, though. A lot of languages like that just get superseded when, like, you know, larger nations form. Yeah, Belarus is wild. The fact that Europe still has a full-on dictatorship. Besides, I guess, Transnistria, but that barely counts. And maybe Hungary, given it another couple of years. He's looking for it. Led. Isambard Kingdom Brunei. Brunel. He was historic, wasn't he? Isn't he like the mega industrialist in history? Yeah. No, he's fascinating. He's incredible. Interesting person. I offered his technical knowledge to upgrade our fleet to the Arctic expedition. Absolutely. That's a very, very interesting person in history to read about, folks, if you want to go on a Wikipedia rabbit hole. Hello. Um, hello. You might want to take a look at uh, the United States right now. Oh. Well, the slavery matter, I'm sure. Zachary Taylor, Chancellor of the Confederate States. Oh, God. The, the one president who shares my name. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. That's so good. would we, like, want to do something about that? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty... I'm I mean... That... Governor. America yeah. fighting itself. And continuing to remain a shadow of what it could be. Doesn't seem to be the worst of ideas to me. Exactly. I mean, I, I was thinking maybe supporting the Confederacy. Now, that's if a I whole think... other matter. Uh, we, we, we have made clear we were going to honor the Monroe Alliance. I think going after America if they showed aggression against Canada is one thing, but I don't know about getting involved in their civil war, to be honest with you. That's true. That's a that's a big jump though, I know. I can I can governor, I can see you salivating at the thoughts of New England. Um <laughs> Of course. Hmm. I, I don't think it would be a good idea unless you have a, a reasonable argument against or to intervene, I suppose. I guess not. I suppose that like 
if they manage to actually split off from the United States, that would probably hamper them for the rest of their life. That is true. Like, there's no chance they would ever recover from that. Well, I, I am on talks already with our traders to provide military services and goods to the Confederates, but... Direct intervention. I, the, you must remember, Governor, we have ever played a dangerous game with the rest of the European powers, and after our blatant, let's be honest, uh, pissing off of the Russian Empire, I feel like getting another couple great powers angry right now would not be the best of ideas. I'm sure you know about the Persian situation right now. Oh, yes, I've been looking at it very closely. Mm, yes. Well, you are correct, I suppose. Though I suppose maybe trying to send arms to the Confederates sure would hurt. <sighs> Worry not, we are already doing so. To make sure so uh, some arms. And we'll, we'll provide them whatever they need. Right, rest assured of that. Maybe I can take a look here and see if I have any American trade routes. I can just kind of uh, accidentally forget to uh, send our boys over. Oops. That's, uh, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? A couple of our ships are in need of repairs. We're going to have to delay some of those good good routes to the uh, to Boston, I'm afraid. Mm, shame. I can't be too safe, can you, Governor? Yep, sorry about that. What were you saying? Oh, I just said that we, we've 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 found some uh, a, a large amount of rather dangerous barnacles on some of our trading vessels that just happen to be on their way to Boston. I think those repairs might be a year or three, you know. Well, that sure uh, that sure sucks, doesn't it? It's a shame. It's a real shame. But listen, the, the merchant maritime fleet of the British Empire must maintain its standards. Of course. <laughs> Anything we can do to help uh, the colonies up in Canada, by the way, while you're here, Governor. Well, I have been taking Ooh. much of an eye upon the um, colony of Newfoundland. Oh, is it not already uh, in your in your territory? It is not. It uh, belongs to you, actually. No, oh. odd. I don't have a button I can press. I'm I'm afraid, metaphorically speaking, here. Well, I mean, maybe if you go um, in. Diplomacy subject action, you can grant state. Oh no, we can't because we're at war. Yeah. Uh, the war is about to be over in Persia, though, so. No. So I, is, can I just transfer between vassals? I haven't played much with the system. Oh, yes, yes, you can. There's, okay. uh, there, you can, like, grant state to vassals. Okay. Well, that is all. No, we will see to that immediately, sir. I'll take a quick look at that as well. Um,. Yeah. And and we will we will ensure that that gets transferred over to your government. Then that is all. Wonderful. Good to see you, always, Governor. Safe travels home. Same. Long live the king. Long live his Majesty. Yes. Yeah. Fuck. They have eleven battalions. They're gonna get. Oh Jesus! America only has twenty-seven though. They got the whole navy, so they should win. What did I just read in the chat? The fuck did I read the chat? What are y'all up to over there? I'll leave that alone for now. Taylor as president of the CSA feels weird. It makes no sense, dude. Zachary Taylor was many things. He was loyal. He would not have gone with the Confederates. Pretty good. He was pretty solid general, too. Not amazing. Solid. In reality, he was president for, I believe, only like six months or something. He died very quickly. Yeah, he's literally a moderate. I mean, he's from the South, but he... Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm only being triggered because he has the same first name I do. Don't dox me. All right, so we have a lot of extra bureaucracy. Let's up our social security spending, I guess. 
We can actually work on integrating as well. Um, let's do some state actions here. Start stating the rest of... Whew. Well, we'll state Ulster. Maybe it came disillusioned after America lost to the Dutch. That, okay, that actually does make sense. You're right about that. That's very true. What are the Dutch doing? Treaty ports in Siam. We'll allow it, but we're going to make them an offer they can't refuse. Hopefully the Dutch don't think they're a little too big for their britches right now. I'm, I'm giving him an offer of help, but that's not what this is. This is a give Burma. Fucking Germans, dude. Jesus. Your Excellency. I've, I've received Greetings. your your message with, uh, yes. with great surprise, and I'm happy to see that Britain supports our our intentions in um, in Siam. A uh, treaty port seems very reasonable to us, so we have no issue. We've been looking for a reason to get our hands on Burma for a while now, and well, it seemed like an opportunity where everyone could benefit. Very well. I would I would like to add uh, war reparations mm. against the Kingdom of Siam. Oh, I'm sure you'll find no issues. And, you know, both kingdoms that have declared war. A trivial matter, though I'm, af I'm afraid that uh, I don't know if they even understand the gold standard, so you might have to take it in the form of uh, livestock, but as you like. Fair enough. Thank mm. you. Thank you. Of course. Goodbye. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Very well. <laughs> Let's have the Dutch have their ports and stuff. Yeah, as long as they're not full puppeting Siam, I don't care. Funny idea, influence a coup in Alaska and have it become a vassal, then take Cuba and the Korean claim old British territory because bananas. That sounds like an easy way to get the Russians and the Americans to make an alliance, if you ask me, but you know. There's no way. It would be kind of funny. I'll give you that. Our economy is really starting to grow here. Hell yeah. Are we still rolling? Yeah, we're right behind the Raj, too. We have seriously detached from the French now as well. Germany is really going quick now, too, though. Austria's growing. America is <clears throat> having problems. Um, Ottomans are growing very fast. Brazil is a very interesting country. All right, I'm gonna play the victory soundtrack. I haven't played that for a while. No, there's no one in South America right now. I had wanted a Brazilian player, but no one wanted to, and I didn't want to force anyone, so. Okay. Um, last of our isolated colonies are being dealt with. I'm just going to build some more ports, too. We need we need a lot more convoys. Make sure we don't have any other infrastructure problems. We don't, so just start maxing out some of the ports. I wish I had missed the beginning of this. It's my favorite nations are still open. Well, you can jump in on this, dude. Like, this is the third session. You're welcome to join next week. The game is still wide open. We're only 20 years in. Isn't Turkey trying to revive the old Ottoman Empire under the current government? Yes, and we're supporting them. We're, we're going to basically make a monster here because we get the Suez and because it'll offset the Russians. Hopefully that won't spiral out of control later. Yeah, we literally cannot end this war. I might just offer peace terms here. No, 
they want to keep fighting it. We just got to wait for the war to tick down then. Soon. I need to start looking around for more colonies. There's really a bit of a a grab going on right now, so a lot of shit's been taken. This is the time to go into the Americas, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't really want that smoke. Though, to be fair, getting Canadian Haiti would be kind of funny. Or Canadian Cuba. There we go. Let me do that. What do you mean we can't reach it? There's literally a pathway. Is it going to cuck us again? Right there. What the fuck, game? Do we not have a port? I mean, we don't have a port. No, we have a port. Maybe we need a port here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is it just going to be some victory logic here? Yeah. Kind of looks like it. Oh, well. Canadian Japan. <laughs> that is a player, by the way. That is very much a player. Yeah, they partitioned Korea at the end of the last session. Qing got the north, Japan got the south. The Russians got Sakhalin. Sakhalin? Sakhalin? Oh, he's going after Koken, too. Gloves off, folks. Gloves off. And they're going to make us fight for Burma. Okay. Is my military just bugged? I think it might just be bugged. Because I can't get a front with Burma right now. Do I have to navally invade it or something? Are they going to make me do that? I guess there. Sure. Is our composer doing something useful here? Uh, I'm going to go do opera work again. Shelly's pissed off because the intelligentsia went voting rights. I actually would like to go with voting rights, but I can't with our government, so. Uh, Kenya got grabbed by the Portuguese and then the Russians. Like, we got a colony there. We're going deeper. We got a little bit. We're getting a transvolt from the Portuguese as well. We're paying them half a mil for it, but I can't do save edits yet. Full game is over. All right. Wonderful. We actually have street lighting in London now. It's been a little while. So can we, like, is it really going to fuck us and say we can't get troops over there? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. British Egypt? No, we're letting the Ottomans take it. We're getting the Suez. We have an agreement with the Sultan about that, though. I'm probably going to go into Ethiopia now to offset the Russians. 
Yeah, the world's quickly running out of undisputed colonial regions, except for the Americas, which no one is touching. I may have to actually go after Dynam as well, which will get piss off the French. I think we do fuck up the Spanish at some point too, but not quite yet. We could go after the America spaghetti, but I don't want to open that floodgate because if we do, all the other Euro powers will as well, and I don't wanna I don't wanna start that. I think it's much more in our interest to just keep it independent and in America's general sphere and keep our preferred trading rights with all the South American countries that we had after the end of the Napoleonic Wars. Way more useful. Where are they going after? Uda Jalon. They're really not going to let us. That is so fucking annoying. Uh. Mm. No, you're not buying our scientists. Absolutely not. Why do Brits make products like shitta bricks, whole grain cereal, when they could cheat? Shitta bricks? I have no idea like, what you're talking about. Is that a real thing? All right, I'm going to run to the bathroom really quickly. Um, I'll be right back here. We didn't have a rehost, so I haven't had a chance. I'll be right back. Your Excellency, Your Excellency, uh, I come with news from the from the Thai front. Um, the jungle terrain is proving uh, harder than we expected. Um, wondering if you would m maybe send aid to Bangkok. Yeah. 
Hello? Du, 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 du. I'll do my best holding music. Britain? Is Britain here? Can anybody in chat tell me is, if Britain is here? Hello, hello. Hello. No. Oh, hello, uh, Your Excellency. Hello there. Um, the, the the terrain in in Thailand has proven much more difficult than we anticipated. Um, are you struggling to push there? Yes, we are. Um, I suppose you're going to need the British then. I, I would kindly request that you, oh, you once you've uh, you've secured. Well, we'll dispatch uh, another task force there to land Bangkok. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Absolutely. Uh, what was the trouble? I mean, you beat back the fucking Americans, so what's the issue with the Siamese? Well, it must, it must be the jungle. The jungle. That's true. I don't think Rotterdam is well known for their jungly and perhaps, terrain. And perhaps the, the Thai are, are more well organized than the Americans. That mm. can say a lot about the Americans' competences, you know? <laughs> well, given how the American subcontinent is looking right now, you might be onto something. Yes, yes uh, we're not. We'll, we'll we'll be in Bangkok before the year's end, hopefully. Th thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. Absolutely. Should bricks is an actual cereal? Ah, I gotta Google it. Uh, oh, Hammer. I just wanted to say there's uh, been a little bit of an issue. Yes, what's um, up? So, I don't know how the event really works, because I haven't played this before, obviously, but I was building the Cologne Cathedral. Um, uh -huh. I built both sides of it. I built the north side and then the south side, and it just didn't build a cathedral. Have you got an event still going for it in your journal? No. Um, okay. Share your screen on me real quick. Uh, 
I can't. I'm not on the. Uh, oh, I'm I'm playing on my phone and then have the game on my. Uh, um, on Discord. Oh. On my phone and on my... Yeah. Okay. My... Um. <laughs> so there's no journal entries or anything for it. No. All right. Do me. Uh, could be a decent thing, but. It could be. But... Um. Let me, uh, we can test it, we can test it real quick. Um, say no to what I'm about to say to you, um, but do you get a pop-up right now? Yes. Okay, so you're not desynced. Uh, I would suggest what you could do is you could um, move to like Bavaria for like a couple days and go back onto Germany and see if that fixes it. Because uh, I would advise you do that. It, what it might require is something to be done in time to move, which I can't do in a save edit, right? if it requires time movement, so I'd recommend you, like, jump off for a day and then jump back on. Or just go observe okay. her for a second. Uh, I'll do that for a second. See if it does anything. Um, okay, and then I'm going back. And then I'm going back. Now. Nothing? Um, I mean... I now don't have the right side of my screen. Uh, click on your budget panel. Oh, yeah. Did you get the right side of your screen back? No, I also lost the top of my screen. Okay, uh, I recommend you hot join. <laughs> I think that's probably <laughs> what we need to do. I'll keep it paused. We never did a rehost. Uh, so. I mean, yeah, I mean, we haven't rehosted yet, so. Let's just, we got 30 minutes left, so I'm going to do a full rehost really quickly, just to yeah. make sure the save's good. Like, the other reason I should be doing these, regardless of whether people enjoy it or not, is it's just for game health. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> I'll let you get back to your chat, because you were having a discussion, no, no. I think. When I, I'm always when ranting, it's fine. I'm going to hop up and hang out, actually. To rehost. Yeah, we're going to do a rehost just for game health and stuff. There's a bug on Germany, and I want to make sure the save's good, so we're going to do a full rehost. We only have, like, 40 minutes left of the game, but yeah. just to be safe. That's... Sorry. Right. I can't... I mean, it... it the, the main issue with my, um... With the Clone Cathedral is that it literally gets me out of... It literally gives me 150 prestige, which is massive. And... Um... And I just, I, and by not having it when I've done both of the things for it, I just, I just, I'm in just such a uh, worse economic state because of it. It costs so a lot. I'm doing the same of Westminster and it's not done. No, we're doing a rehost right now. We're going to go until the, the ending time. Yeah, the building of Westminster is costing me like something insane right now. So it's definitely a pain if you don't get it done. Hmm. Do you want me to move the other three in here? I'll let them do what they want. I'm sure they know what's going on. I'm just make sure they do, because it could, it's pretty close to the end time, so... Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll move. Okay, go ahead. And, go and tell them. How's everybody's game going? Anything interesting happen? I mean... I beat the USA. <laughs> there was that. That did happen. Um, I'm, I'm looking very closely, and... It, uh, the Confederates are winning. Are they? Yes, yes I saw that as well. Oh my they god, are, this is not America's Day. Them. So I've been, uh, I've been <laughs> looking at the cultural map, and uh, if you look at Oregon, it was for a while fully, almost entirely Bosniak. Bosnian Oregon? They still make up, like, half of the population there i need to i need to save edit serbian to be like uh, washington to be entirely serbian okay. just have the the oregon washington balkan border war you know yeah has anyone uh, has anyone seen how how well the confederates are doing someone said they're winning they are, they are winning they are what winning. the <laughs> fuck Florida. i mean zachary taylor is president and he was a base general i'm not gonna lie so that's rough but they have 12 troops. How, how is he managing this? Who's their, who's their general? Um, they have the most mobilized units. Um, they, yeah, have, like, they have way more mobilized. Oh, than, okay. than... They have the number one army right now. 
And the, and the US wow. player just left, just left v VC, so I'm scared he's rage <laughs> Did he? Oh, shit. I, I told him there was a rehearse, but, um... And then to be fair, like, losing the Confederates is rough, but... Wasn't he new to the game, though? Semi. I think uh, he, he played before. Yeah, he's not as new as I am. He's definitely not as new as Edward is, but... I mean, I'm pretty sure losing to the Dutch really, like set him back uh, that would I'm that sorry. would yeah just good. <laughs> he he perpetrated the war though for right reasons he lost so it is like i still can't believe the dutch won but you know yeah because what it and is then they, and then they started begging everyone else for money afterwards americans <laughs> or the dutch the dutch oh okay well it's because of this army thing i had to yeah 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 I swear to God, if I don't get my 150 prestige, I'm gonna cry. Well, I'm about to implement free trade, so. That's oh, good. I don't think I I didn't load up rehost. I didn't load the light save. Everyone, go to desktop. Bruh. I'm I'm dumb. Sorry, one sec. Oh uh, well, I was initiating the game. <laughs> Oops. You were initiating yeah, the American base 1836 person. start. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Back to guess. Okay, desktop again. Yeah, uh, the American players in the uh, MP General channel. Okay. Yeah, he said he's gonna go. He's really tired, which you know, that's fine. That's up fair. to him. If it's really bad, I will do some save edits for him to fix a little bit if he likes. But it's uh, uh wow, we're gonna hey, see a con independent Confederate States. Ready. That's wild. Either yeah, that, or do they do they annex the union, or do they go independent? Probably just independent. Uh, no, they go independent. Yeah. Yeah, fully independent. You know what that means, folks? We're talking about scramble for Africa. That means there's going to be a scramble for America. Is what that should mean. Oh, yeah. Mon Ma the Monroe Wall is dead, right? I claim oh, California. I would like to press. Um, I, I would like to press mm. real no, world no, Belgium's no, historical no, claim. Well, this is really interesting for the Portuguese. Canada wants oh. the Statue of Liberty. Portugal's like, I can has Brazil? <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> like, yeah, no, but I if America that. loses the Civil War and the Confederates are independent, that means gloves are off. Like, you know, I, Russia I is going to be like heavy breathing down into California and, you know. Coming down from Alaska. You know, yeah, I, I shit. Oh, I'm going to Brazil, boys. Brazil. <laughs> I'm feeling... I'm feeling Prussian uh, or German uh, North and South Carolina. The question is, who's gonna put like their like second cousin royal noble on the throne of Mexico? That's the real question. Oh. Anyone, anyone got any particularly like less inbred cousins who could run a state in the Americas? Yeah, the two-year-old emperor of China. There you go, that works. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Probably more competent than most of the European options, so we'll take that. What's happening? Uh, rehost, Edward, rehost. Uh, new new ID is up. It is up. It's the actual save. I didn't do 1836. We're chilling. <laughs> all right, all right. Remember, everybody. Remember, everybody. When we unpause, I'm going to go for seven days. And no one touches any buttons. If you get a desync menu, just drag it off to the side. Come. And hopefully, say no desync this time. Hopefully. Uh, I'm still not there. I'm still not there. Wait, uh, wait a That's second. fine. It's fine. We're getting in. We're getting in. It's good. How many people do we have still in Discord? Two, four, six, eight, ten. We've got 11 people joining. Uh, yeah, they took... They, they, they occupied Texas and Florida. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really bad situation. All right. I, I do want to go see what's going on there real quick. Uh, and the US player left. Oh, my God. Their military is the most cursed shit I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I click. I'm not clicking. I'm not. I'm just checking the military menu. Hopefully, it doesn't break if the you game. Want it to might. See something worse. I still have my military. <laughs> hey, I mean you're I Austria have a though. Singular ship. The, the, the I, Prussians are beginning to rebuild. By the way, everyone. I clicked on the military menu for the Confederates. And, oh yeah, they completely conscripted. They got 257 battalions of conscripted soldiers. <laughs> They're all in little armies of like two and three, though. It's disgusting. It's like Hoi oh Four Generals, like AI shit. <laughs> really? Damn. So, wow. Now I can uh, 
I can so find another source uh, for busting them people. Can. General Arthur Ogle of the Confederate States is currently beating General Arthur Duval of the United States. Nice. <laughs> Archibald Fairfax is losing to Gideon Sanders. These fucking American names, Jesus. Yeah, I think Confederates win this. Maybe. They no, they pretty much hard won this. They're getting navally invaded by the by the Americans, though. That that could be rough. Yeah. Wow. I mean, nothing short of a miracle could save this. I mean, well, there, there's a chance. There's a chance. Small. Very small. Well, the, the is the AI going to be able to? No. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but wow. remember how poorly the Americans did it historically at the start of their of their war. That's true. That's true. Oh shit. I completely did not notice. Thank you for the raid, Generalist Gaming. Appreciate that, man. So folks were in I think I got raided last Sunday as well during this. We're continuing with the multiplayer weekly the game we've been doing for Victoria 3. It's light roleplay, so it's like no hard meta gaming, kind of realistic decisions, play your country with a bit of historicity, but like very lax. Like there, there's no rules yet. I'll make them if this goes off the rails, but it's kind of more chilling. Thank you for the raid, Generalist. I'll do a quick shout out for you on slash shout out generalist okay. guys as i said last week if you would like to learn how to play victoria 3 there is no better option out there than generalist gaming's youtube channel and his videos on victory they're very in-depth i have never seen anyone else who knows more what they're talking about when it comes to this game so definitely check that out if you want to learn to play victory a bit better but yeah appreciate the rain man we got like a number, I think, half hour or so to go of this. <laughs> I think it's scuffed that I didn't get any prestige from beating the Americans. You should have gotten so much for that. Like, your your power projection should have gone through the roof. Add 100 prestige to the Dutch and save edits. Yeah. How, <laughs> how many division, uh, how many battalions did they send to navally invade the Netherlands, by the way? 42. How did you push them back? Just rolls or? I had 35 line infantry because of that. Am I already desynced before I get in the game? Maybe. You are on a Mac. I'm gonna have to reload Vicky 3. I think you should try playing with Linux next time, Faye, to make things more stable. <laughs> Pain. Wait, how do you know you're already desynced? because uh, I was already getting the spinning wheel on my screen. I think it's just the people joining in part as well, kind of, as always. Yeah. Yeah. That's just a little, little like, bug before you load in, but usually it works. Nah, was, yeah. that was fully loaded. That was fully loaded, but... And I had to delete 32 units because of that bug. It's annoying. Did it fix itself when you uh, rebuilt them, by the way? Netherlands. Yeah. Now, okay. now it works. But, um, good, good. Yeah, like but, I said, I'll, I'll give yeah. you I'll give you an edit for some money so you can, you know. I had to little, uh, like two years building, building troops again. Hence the fuck up in Thailand, because I don't have enough troops. All right, I think we have just about everyone. So, is anyone not in right now? I just joined. Okay. I'm, I'm still loading. Bay is loading, and then we'll get going. Like I said, we're gonna go for like another half hour. Um, we'll end just after the hour. Uh, so I said originally we're gonna do four sessions. That means next week will be the end. Um, I will say, I think we're probably gonna go past it. Um, as long as we keep everyone going. How's everyone like feeling about the campaign? Like, do you want to keep it going? How's everyone feeling with it? I'd yes. like to oh, yeah. I, I, I Chaos. Know, before this session, I was thinking I might just leave after the four sessions, but this session is really giving me more confidence because I've been having a lot of fun this session. I mean, yeah, you kind of blew up again. You know, yes. not trying to field a mega military before you're even Germany, so I'm glad that helped. Uh, to be fair, I didn't build a single barracks. Oh, they were just from Incorporated States? Yeah, just just, mm. the, just the AI did it. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, you're doing fine now. I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, we have everyone in. Like I said, we're gonna go seven days until the tick over. No one click any. Am I playing? Conf no, okay, we're good. Um, seven days, and then we'll keep it going. So I'm going to unpause right now. If you get a desync menu, just pull it off to the corner of the screen, off off your screen, and we'll keep going. Let me know if uh, Cologne fixed for you, Faye. Hopefully, if not, oh well, I'll figure something out for next Does week. Does anyone know what the Vienna Ring Strass is? Because I'm building that, and I have no idea what it is. Isn't that like the super famous like street in Vienna with like all the beautiful like government buildings and stuff like uh, that, and opera it houses? Could be. Because it says it's a road. I think it's like one of the main like cultural like cub roads in Vienna, but don't quote me on that. All right, we're good, everyone. Uh, feel free to disperse. We got another half hour. Enjoy the rest doesn't of the game. Look like, doesn't look like clones fixed. I'll do. I'll look at it over the week and see if I can find an edit or something to like fire trigger the event or something in like the the mod data or something. Mm. So I'll look. I'll look through that. Cool. cool. All right, we're. we're Chilling. What's up, Pricey? How are you doing? Britain goes very well. We, we came back hard today, that's for sure. Not like constantly being at war with the Russians has been quite nice, though, to be fair. And fighting a joint war against the Russian and Qing players. That not doing that again has helped a lot. I've massively expanded our colonial holdings. Our economy has been growing pretty aggressively. Um Canada's centralizing. There's a player on Canada down now, by the way, folks. Just heads up. It's the governor who's been coming in every now and then. So we're looking pretty good here. Oh, nice. We did take Kashmir. Beautiful. You're having a good day, too? Hell yeah, man. What's the difference between Prussia and the German Empire? Mike, are you trying to get me to rant for half an hour? Because that's how you get me to rant for half an hour. Don't think I won't do it. Do you actually not know, or are you trying to get me to rant? Just to clarify here. <laughs> Anti-Confederate League has formed. Okay. That's a desync. That's fine. We'll just move it. Confederates won. The Confederates fucking won. Holy shit. Oh my god, the Confederates won. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Chancellor Zachary Taylor of the Confederate States of America. What the fuck? So painful. I don't blame that player for rage quitting. I will say he is such an interesting president right now, but still. That is brutal. Uh, your desync, just did you move it off to the corner of the screen? Yeah. Cool, you should be good to go. My AI, by the way, uh, in like the five minutes that I was AI, uh, lost me 30, 30k a week, um, 4 million GDP, and ended my interest in China. Remind me to save it at you. I'll give you a couple mil for that, because I told you to do that. Oh. I know. They probably deleted a couple buildings is what happened. You're going to be fine. Don't worry about your deficit. Like I said, I'll save it at you in money to compensate for that. So, yeah. Mm. And I'll I'll look pretty hard for something for the Cologne Cathedral because I know that is very uh, annoying. Yeah. Yep. Just uh, just remind me because I will not remember most likely. So send me a DM or something like that or ping me. Yeah, I'll put it in stuff chat. Cool. That works. Probably both. So, hello. Um, hello. Yes. So, you probably might have noticed that uh, the Confederates have won. We did! It was kind of hard not to notice. Uh, all of Europe is, I'm sure, plotting in the hidden wine caves throughout the continent about what will happen to America now. Um, Governor, what are your thoughts? This is... This is going to change the future of America. Definitely, that's for sure. My thoughts on this is that, well, America lost its biggest protector. So... Did you have someone else in mind, Governor? I sense uh, yes. an idea in your head there, and do, I do, do go on. Don't be shy. 
Since North America lost its biggest protector, I thought that maybe it could be time for another one to join mm. the scene instead. I like where this is going. One under the jurisdiction of Great Britain, if you, if you, if you may. Hmm. So tell me, uh, how would you go about doing this, Governor? Uh, Canada is no, by no means weak, but you lack the industry, economy, or armies of many other states. You have our backing, rest assured, but uh, I will need more of a plan than that. What do you have in mind? Well, we should make sure to weaken the Americans even more. And I, do un I, I hope you do understand that the biggest of their industrial bases are up in New York and right on my border. Do you see where I'm going with this? I do. Dangerous waters, to be sure. Dangerous waters, but... The grand United States of America are no longer that grand. I will say very shortly, out of role player, uh, if that player intends to continue, we're not going to do anything against the Americas, by the way. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, if, no, no, yeah, if he If he's rage quitting and is gone, I'd have no issue with this sort of thing. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, yeah. me... me I, this is also my, my understanding. If he doesn't yeah. come back, we can do this. If not, I understand. I don't want to like piss yeah, him yeah. off more than that. No, no, no. But uh, I do agree with you. I, I think New England, after all, would be in uh, you know loyalist hands rather than uh, the, the the current state of the Americans. So they they can't keep their country together. So you know, uh, why don't we take the most educated and industrialized region to to make a proper loyal. American state to to own such a thing. I I, I think course. this is not a bad idea. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this issue. I do expect, if things start to slide, that there are others in Europe who, due to fear of the Americans and of course us and our support of the Monroe Agreement, who might start to move very quickly there, though, which could be concerning. And could be dangerous. Which is why we must try to secure a foothold as quickly as possible, so to stop other interference from coming. Sweet, we got Burma. I just got breach loading artillery too, so we are we're at like a very short moment here where Britain's military tech is outrageously strong. So this is yeah. a very good time for it, sir. Um I think I think I'll need to take this to his majesty directly. And yeah. uh, and Parliament, and I think some talks will need to be had here. But if we do make any sort of a play on the Americas, I think uh, the Canadians ever loyal would be the ones that this would go to. I'm sure after the War of 1812, uh, I mean, we've already been there before. You've been there before, so why not make it permanent? Of course. We've beaten them once, we'll beat them again. How is your current uh, budget doing in regards to expanding your military? Uh, we, we think it would be quite wise to begin to uh, move a little quicker there. Of course, yes. I'm currently in the middle of building a trans-Canadian railway. After that, I'll no. increase my military. Good. Glad to hear it. Uh, we're, we'll deal with your debt, and I'm going to begin to start bankrolling you directly while I discuss this with the yes. king. Uh, Perfect. Good. Yes, yeah, so I think it would be best if you start to immediately uh, make your military a bit stronger. And we will conduct discussions and let you know very shortly. Perfect. Very well. God save the king. God save the king. <laughs> Fucking Canadians, dude. Yeah, if the player's still here, we're not going to do this. But if he goes and there's no one to play on America, why not make the Americas interesting? So, it will be an actual scramble. You know, only know about Germany uh, post-certain treaty. Versailles or World War II? Will I ever do another Hoi 4 Millennium Dawn multiplayer RP? Almost certainly not, Pricey. Um, it tends to attract type of player I don't want to be involved in multiplayer games I play in to be honest with you so I'd rather play multiplayer in things like Vic 3 and CK that tends to have a less politically and generally personality wise 
If you watch Toy Force streams or YouTube videos or played in multiplayer games, you know the type of people that Hoi4 and Pete like attracts, right? I was used to be willing to tolerate it because I like those games enough and I like multiplayer enough that it was like, okay, fine, it's worth it. I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that again. I'm not dealing with those people. There's a lot of lovely people who just want to have a good time and play Hoi4 multiplayer and chill. You know, that's the majority, but it, it is the game that attracts the worst sort of Paradox player the most, and I don't want to deal with that, so probably not. If another server like ran one that was pretty good, I might hop on it again one day, but we'll see. You now have it? Yeah, dude, I don't know. Uh, I know like the Millennium Dawn Discord runs multiplayers, but they're like, like comp, right? They're just about like, you know, fighting Mega Wars, which I don't know, maybe I'll play in one of those sometime, but it doesn't have a lot of appeal for me. Hey, bro, I swear, bro, the Germans weren't that bad, bro. Believe me, and their tanks were so cool, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The guy who has Rommel as his profile picture on Discord. The guy who starts to say really sus stuff immediately and loves to just, like, bully players. That kind of guy. No, not dealing with that. I do miss those games, but it's just not worth it to me anymore. All right, we are on top. This is once again the 19th, the British century once more, folks. I'm sure everything will go downhill very quickly next session, but for now, we're looking pretty good here. All right, we also do need to take back... I'm going to see if I can navally invade over here. I forgot about that. Hopefully, the front lines don't bug out on us again. Let's see if we can get that to work, and then... Did we land there? Yeah, we did. We're pushing. Good. Siam is almost over. I wish I could play Republic of Venice in CK3, but you can't play Republics. There's a mod called Respublica Blitzki if you want like a fun mod to play single player with. Uh, check out Respublica. It allows you to play Republics. It's really fun. I'll probably have it on for the grand campaign. I just think how Germany lost World War II was the irony in itself, to be honest. Like, ironic in what way? Sewing machines and mechanized workshops. Looking pretty good here. Yeah, we have all these new buildings now, don't we? Anything here? No, good. Let's build a uh, power block statue in London, too. That does actually give a very nice bonus. Cool. War is over. They have their treaty port in Bangkok. We have our protectorate in Burma. Dynam is the next nation I might look at going after, but I won't do it today. We've only got like 10 minutes left of this game. W. Germany keeps shooting itself in the foot in World War II with it opening multiple fronts. Yeah. I mean, Barbarossa was objectively very dumb. The Soviets were not ready for a war, and they were not going to contend the Allies. I mean, at the same time, the Germans didn't have the ability to sea lion. They didn't have the Navy for it, right? So, I don't know. Germany in World War II had a lot of, a lot going for it. But it fundamentally, I don't think, was able to complete the war it started. And that resulted in things like Barbarossa and other stupid decisions. So, I don't know. When I was younger... And I was less informed about military history and World War II and things like that. 
I was never a weirboo by any means, right? But like, I definitely had a bit of like the technology worship that came with a lot of young people looking at like World War II Germany. Not like for the government, the Nazis, but like, you know, Germany had a lot of tech. Their military had always been a cut above in terms of discipline. You saw that in World War I. You saw that all the way since the formation of Germany with like Bismarck, right? And I always like ascribed special status to that, which it does have in reality to a degree. But like many people, I think I, I was kind of drawn into that German like narrative, right? That they were so much stronger. They, their discipline was so much better. Their troops were so much better trained. Their technology was so far ahead. But, you know, I think the more you read about World War II and the more you understand history and things like that, the more that kind of dissipates. Like they did have a technology advantage in a lot of things at the start of World War II, like obviously mainly tanks. That was definitely a thing. But the quality versus quantity thing came into play very quickly. And it was not long before they were technologically and quality beaten by the by the Americans on land, except for armor, by the British on air, and by the Russians in armor, right? So, I don't know. I think they were always more or less doomed to lose that war. And the only way I don't think that happens is if America never got involved. You know, there's that kind of revisionist history you hear nowadays, especially with Europeans, I've noticed that it's like, oh, America didn't do as much as, you know, people think in World War II and World War I. That is not true. I'm not even saying that as like, you know, uh, oh, oh, America's so great. Objectively speaking, America decided both world wars. There were other groups that were just important. I don't know, I've had that argument with a few Europeans before because it always pisses me off when they're like, try and like reduce the influence that America, the importance American had in European history. I think Europeans do that sometimes. Um, and the thing is always like, oh, well, Russia did so much more. It's like, well, yeah, you're right in some ways, in many ways, really. They took the brunt of the war, but Again, the only way World War One and World War Two were won by the Central Powers and the Axis was without American involvement. America also decided World War One. Read history. Read the history of World War One. If you do that properly and you're not biased, you'll you'll understand that uh, without America, the Entente probably would not have won. It may have gotten a like a, a a stalemate, but it would not have won. That was the Germans surrendered because of America, right? And World War Two is the same. So, I don't know kind of rambling a bit here but i for one have changed my like opinion on like certain nations from world war one and world war two a lot over the years especially germany i think that the kind of the reputation they have to this day for like being so strong is warranted but it's it's much more complicated and much less strong with foundation as i think many people think you know if that makes sense i don't know i'm saying that well how germany decided to go after russia basically not focusing on the french front line well, I mean, they, they had capitulated France, right? But they were not winning in Africa, which was more important. They weren't really winning the Bat no, Battle of Britain in many ways due to the like, losses of aircraft. They were producing submarines and were not able to contend the British Navy and had not properly cooperated with like the, the French Navy to try and get them on their side. So, I mean, the Russia play was useless, but it was almost like a desperate move. They needed to do something. Why is the Way of the King's mod that turns CK3 in a darkest dungeon? Does it really? I played the Way of the King's mod a while back, but it's been forever. That's the Stormlight Archive mod, right, Blitzky? From Brandon Sanderson's book series? I think that's the right one. Which is an amazing book series. I actually have those books somewhere around here in this room. I don't know where. Uh... A little over a year and look at that power block statue nice yeah no a good mod great lore great series what did they add to it that allows you to do that i haven't looked at it in well over a year oh, rage axe yeah sure are you gonna assassinate agitators i didn't realize that you don't mind if i do Okay, yeah, so the front's just going to keep bugging out there. That's annoying. I may do a save edit. I'll, I'll end the war. I'll, like, transfer part of the state or something. That's really annoying, because it's like we have we have a way to get to that front line. Big three things. 
We've got an uprising over in Australia. Let's send the second over there. They're headed there already. The modern historical consensus is basically that we already live in the worst timeline possible, as in all the early German successes were already the worst case scenario. When the invasion of Russia happened, the German economy, war economy, had already been eclipsed by Britain alone. Time was running out. Yeah, they did not have the manufacturing ability to sustain what they were doing. They added dungeons, did they? Really? That's cool as fuck. I'll have to check that out. I thought Elder Kings was going to do that first. Didn't they plan something similar? Is it a unique mechanic? Oh man, I'll, now I'm curious. I'm going to look up the mod real quick. That sounds cool as fuck. That's one of the things I'd want, I've wanted to see in some of these mods for a while. I just didn't think they'd get to it yet. I thought a lot of groups would wait for Road, road to Power. Holy shit. What the fuck? I got to I got to screen share this. Boys. We may have to do a way of King's playthrough here. Holy shit, look at this. Dungeon delving with equipment? Is that equipment you get? Or are those bonuses? Oh, with roads to power, that'll be insane. Holy shit. What the fuck, dude? That's wild. It's already an amazing mod, but that's incredible. Are they going to make that open source so other mods can use it? Do you know by chance? Because that's something that like needs to get shared with other mods, honestly. I hope it's not one of those things like, oh, we made this. You can't use it. Some mods are really... Some mod modders and mod teams have gigantic egos, and I get it. They put work into things, and they're proud of it, but can be a little rough. Wow, that's incredible. That is actually insane. That is actually fucking insane. Wow. Holy shit. All right, as soon as the game's done today, I'm going to download it real quick on the stream. Just check it out. I'm not going to do a full playthrough, but we're going to look at that real quick before I end stream because that looks insane. And I'm just going to do this after I stop streaming anyway, so I might as well stream it. Two minutes to go in this game. I'm very happy with the state of Britain right now. Like I said, we've dramatically expanded our colonial possessions through just like generally in Africa, right? We've got Aranja, or, or Aran, Aranya is what someone said. I have to pronounce it by. Uh, Transvaal we're getting. We made an agreement with the Portuguese. Oman, Southern Persia. We've expanded into Punjab and Kabul. We've gotten Burma. Australia is expanding quickly. Canada is centralizing. The Americas are split. Our economy has grown massively. Our Navy has grown as well quite a bit. Our tech is militarily at a very good place. We're, we're doing better than I expected us to do. Uh-oh. A little sussy over there. A little sus. So we've done America passed the American Service Members Protection Act, which somehow is a law that was enacted to prevent international criminal court from prosecuting U.S. citizens for alleged war crimes. We refuse to work with the International Courts of Justice. It's been that way for quite a while. We don't really acknowledge their authority, which is hilarious given all the moral crusading we pretend to do. At least we still pay our dues to the U.N. A lot of countries don't do that. I mean, Americans are always pissy about it, but we do. Looking good. We never did burn the Summer Palace, did we? We're still not done with Westminster either. Wow. Did it bug out for us too? No, we're still working on it. All right, we are at time. Grab the save, we'll be done for the day. Babylon game session. 
Cool. Alright, folks, we are all done for the day. Good session. I can't wait for you to like give my my nation like one look and uh and tell me all the stuff I've done wrong with it again. The AI fuck you up or cause you seem to be doing fine. Uh well I lost three and a half million GDP when when the AI when when switching back to my nation. Yeah. Um so I don't know. I'll like I said, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some gold. Like I'll give you some. I'll save it you some money for that because I told you to do that. And the AI fucked you harder than I thought they would. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, folks, yes, good sure. game. Um, if you want any save that it's done for legitimate good reasons, just shoot me a DM over the week uh, or tonight, and I'll get those done for next week. Uh, it'll be a fourth session. We will keep going as long as we still have you know most of the players we had today, and we'll keep things going. So, thank everybody. I do want to say thank you to everyone for like not being toxic. I haven't heard any racial slurs being yelled. We haven't had any like pure meta gaming, so that's always lovely. So appreciate y'all for that. Very, very nice. That was a very, very fun Ooh. session. Hell yeah. Thanks, guys. It's very fun, but also uh, everything is now over for China, so. What happened? Uh, oh, what um, happened? Well, Massive deficit for both money and bureaucracy, and the fact our emperor is a two-year-old that nobody likes. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Maybe you have you thought about that. radical change? You know, civil war for some radical change? That's what I had thought of, because this all started over a civil war that was brewing for a republic in China. Do <laughs> it! Do it! <laughs> That's what I was doing, but... No, absolutely What not. happened? Oh, okay, there it is. You know, the French and the British would love to chat to you about such a concept, I'm sure. Maybe By the so. way, I also do I... have an idea for an edit, but it might be too much, so either DM way. DM it to me. Um, a couple, I've gotten a couple yeah, DMs that are just, like, absurd, and I said no, but uh, we can oh, talk okay. about it. This so, isn't, like, so. absurd, but... Yeah. Uh, I, I, I can have... we give Florida I... to the CSA to make good borders because it's ugly? <laughs> Persia needs some better borders, because Jesus Christ. I, ag I agree. How about you give them to me as a protectorate and we reunite Persia? Oh, I love yeah, that idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 by the way, have you, I would like to up, update you on the technocracy situation. I tried to enact it twice, but both times there was going to be massive revolts if I did. You have, for reforms like that, you have to do the revolt. So you kind of, it's oh, like, really, do you want it? I really don't like having revolutions. They fuck you up, but sometimes it's worth it, right? Like, free trade, I fought a civil war for, it sucked, but, like, it was worth it, right? So sometimes you just yeah, gotta do it. France. Yeah, but France exists. Unfortunately, that is true. <laughs> you know how Chris is gonna be. Yeah, he, protecting, yeah, that's true. But, I mean, don't you have, like, Daddy Russia and, like, your, your brother over there in Austria to back you up? Aren't you guys still, like, in cahoots? Uh, I have Daddy Russia, yeah. I, I'm what? Not sure about then Austria. you're fine. And I mean, you might even you might even get Al Sailor Rain out of that if you can provoke him. You know. I know. I know. I, I'm, I'm protecting. I'm protecting uh, the the monarchy against uh, against liberal uh, Denmark right now. And I, I was I was hoping that maybe France would join so I could uh, call in my my yeah. uh, my my friends. The tall, I was really hoping that you'd see the Persia play and go in there because I wanted to fuck you up a bit, but you didn't, so that was unfortunate. Oh, oh Russia? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was trying to bait him into a war there. No, fair enough. Yeah. Who, me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> With Persia, dude. Right, but by taking uh, my Persian lands? Yeah, I was trying to get you to join the war so I could demand some stuff. And the fuck, why would I do that? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> you're fair. You, you're doing a great job of protecting your protectorates. Exactly. Uh, I, How many of them do you have? Like, it's uh, in the hundreds then now, I assume, uh, right? In Central Asia? Yeah, something like that. A yeah. few million, uh, nearly. I mean, I mean, I he took... I did like the next session it, to actually call now, since my people wanted it. <laughs> yeah. He... Uh, uh, Russia threatened me for uh, for 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 Somalia earlier, so he's a great friend. <laughs> for what? Threatened? That was Somalia. You say Mali? Oh, Somalia. Okay. That was not threatening. That was a friendly talk. We talked it over. It was a friendly talk. And we got. Well, it's the Russia suggestion. It's the suggestion. Open water. Open water. It was just 
to point out that we do in fact have it was just stating facts we're talking about about statistics here not not about threatening okay that is we weren't doing that Ger germany next time next time you talk with russia we'd be happy to give you some like gold thread toilet paper to remind the russians of their place if you like oh oh maybe oh maybe i might uh reconsider my sites you know oh i'm kind of oh really kind of, I mean, I mean, I do have a pro-British organization, and I do have an anti-Austrian and an anti-Russian organization. I'm just hey, saying. Hey, hey, hey. I have uh, a pro-German one. Asses, I have a pro -German one. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Austria is like, fuck, no, don't look at us. Don't look at us. Everything's fine. I mean, I've been in relations with Germany this entire game. Yeah, I know. I know. I would never, I would never backstab my, uh, my great friend in Austria. Although, although uh, Poland, Poland is looking um, kind of tasty right now. So you're declaring war against me because I'm the king of Poland here. So I'm, saying, uh, I'm, I'm not saying anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Right. No, all that matters is that the Austrian economy is booming. That's it's, all that it, Even with my four million GDP loss, it's still less than still less than mine. Hey, yeah. I'm giving you a chance, you know, like, for a moment I was the third um, ranked. I was like, you know what? That's too much for me. I need to step down and give the others a chance. <laughs> One more thing on that. Uh, I'm going to talk to the USA player and see if he's continuing. If he's continuing, I'm going to buff him a bit. And then, like, you know, we can all kind of just hopefully not fuck him up too bad because he's in a bad shape right now. If he is leaving and we don't have a US player, uh, it is open season on the Americas. So just heads up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, just clarify that. Yeah. I would also like to say that after careful consideration, I'm not in fact going to leave or switch nations. I have had too much fun this session. Um, yeah. Germany is fun. You just have to get over the initial hurdles, right? Like it's a little rough to start. Yeah. And you're chilling. Um, if you if you can look at my nation at any point, Hammer, and give me more tips, that would be really yeah. nice. This is this is kind of my first playthrough playing as like a great power or anything i can take a look uh, at it i'll let you know when i do save it as yeah, yeah. uh, if the guy you know, you know, play, you know, uh, with, with me can you just like look and see if i'm like totally like not doing good yep <laughs> What we could, what we, what we could do, like I did this week, is like if you guys want, you can show up like an hour early before next week's session. I can just go over your countries and we can kind of look at some of that because I know you guys are newer. You seem to be doing fine. The Austrian economy is doing fine. Yeah, no, he, Edward keep kept going like, oh, I have to build more construction sectors. My economy is too good, and I was like. <laughs> he, he's he's currently at like I think two hundred and fifteen construction or something like that. Two hundred and thirty. Two hundred and thirty, and I'm at two hundred. So. You you have you have almost as much as I do right now, and I don't think you have yeah. skill frame buildings, do you? Um, no. No, so you're doing fine. I'm I'm about to have steel frame buildings, but then I don't think it's really worth it for me right now. No, it is worth. It's always worth it. You just gotta m immediately build explosives and glass and uh, steel to compensate. You can afford it. You just have to. You have to kind of dull in. You know. I have a lot of explosives. I just don't have glass. Like, there you go. Start, start a glass I'm industry. I'm just building glass, steel, and explosive right now. That's what I'm doing because I, I got all that. Plus, it's better for the simple reason that when you go on that, you're going to employ better pops to maintain your construction, right? When you are on steel frame buildings, your construction sectors use more engineers and like useful pops. You will need goods from glass and from steel and from explosives, all of which also require better job paying jobs, more educated people. So it's just like your your economy is evolving, yeah. right? So a hundred also, reasons it's better. Also, how many? Uh, you, felt, you you might want to check your, uh, my uh, innovation at some point because I kind of did that funny and decided that I was just going to be max on innovation the whole time. Um, so I have about 40 universities right now. The fuck? I've got like eight, I think. Is everyone else doing fucking university spam right now? No, it's just me, it's just me in France. It's just me I've in France. I've got the revolution and that's why all of my universities. It, it literally, my it's just me in France. Me. Because I was like, hold on, this is kind of funny. I'm just gonna do this, and then, and then, and then, Chris was like, oh, I might, I might follow you just because I, I have to keep up. I'm just imagining like the the 40 French academies just being like empty buildings that they're like saying they have a student population in. Yeah. So I think we're both at max. 
Mine oh, okay. has weed, so it's nice. <laughs> the Hungarians. <laughs> yeah. Everyone actually. <laughs> your German your German sub pops in Austria should be pretty educated and in Bohemia. Uh, I mean I, I did have cholera this session. <laughs> Again. You got cholera late after everyone else, shit. No, 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 no. Literally. I got it again. I had it once before with everyone. <laughs> Have you considered a sewage system in Vienna? That's not your I, river. I did research it after. <laughs> mm. Alright, I'm going. Call, call around round two. <laughs> yep. yep. Oh, boy. Alright, uh, like I said, uh, I'll shoot you guys a message about your countries and then just show up early next week. And I'll go over some stuff with you. But yeah, uh, good game, everyone. Catch you all next yep. week. Bye bye. Alright, folks. Uh, I am going to end stream, but I want to take a quick look at Way of Kings. Hopefully, this downloads semi quick here. Having some weird validating stuff going on. But yeah, oh, that was a good game. Good session. Pretty fun. We're in very good shape. I'm very, very happy with where we're at, and the game seems interesting. Regardless of if the USA player comes back or not, it should remain pretty, pretty fun. But yeah, no, this is crazy with Way of Kings. I really want to look at this real quick. Gonna stare at my map, my Steam. We've all been here. Just waiting for your game to download. Did it on stream. Make sure no Austrian artists become dictators. No. I honestly, I think we need to talk to the Austrians about shutting down their uh, art academies in Vienna, just to be safe. Actually, no. Let me rephrase that. We need to talk to the Austrians about letting in um, all the German applicants after 1900. Because, you know, if Hitler becomes an artist and lives out his delusions of being, like, a great painter, he probably won't go to Germany. So, that'd be nice. That timeline. Hitler being an artist is good for the world. He got rejected, like, three times or something like that, too. Alright. Why is this load taking so long? The Way of Kings Dungeon Calling would be nice for it. Yeah, I thought Elder Kings 2 would do it first because it fits Elder Kings so much more, you know? Like, I know there are sub mods, let me find it, for Elder Kings that let you like go on like a, like a kind of like this. What is that thing? Let me find it. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that. Cool. There is, yeah, here it is, Unbound. This is a sub mod for Elder Kings that lets you like explore ruins. But they do it very differently, right? You get like more event chain kind of thing. It's really fun, I played it before. If you want a good playthrough in uh, Elder Kings, definitely check this mod out. And I thought they were gonna expand on this and kind of they would be the first to go this route, but way the Kings out of nowhere. Don't let the KGB agent become mayor, then uh, president, then premier of Russia. No, I think... Gotta watch out for Lenin, too. The, there's that really famous kind of thing about, like, uh, the amount of, like, incredibly important famous people in history who were all in Vienna during, like, the beginning of the 20th century. Wasn't it, like, with, like living within 10 square miles, it was, like, Freud, Hitler, Lenin, I want to say, Franz Joseph, of course. There were a couple others, too. Like, really just important people in a lot of different areas living, like, all right next to each other, essentially. Who were the others? I, I know there were one or two more. Because, I mean, Vienna was, like, the cultural hub of Europe in the start of the uh, 20th century. Berlin and London took it later. The fuck is my game doing? This is what happens when you have, like, a hundred subscribed CK3 mods. Kind of on me. And some other music as well. Hmm. Okay. Um, don't look at this. This is spoilers. <laughs> No 
looking. This is grand campaign stuff. Did not show up. I know I subscribe to it. The. The. This will be very short, folks. I just want to take a little look at this. I think y'all might find this interesting, too. Game screen. Paris, Vienna, London, Berlin in terms of cultural hubs? Yeah, absolutely. This is a fantastic mod, by the way. I really, if you like CK3, definitely check it out. It's fucking, God damn it. Um, it's based on a really good book series by Brandon Sanderson. Um, it's called The Way of the Kings also. It's a very, very good series. If you like fantasy, nonfiction in general, fantastically written. Brandon Sanderson's already, even though he's still alive and writing at a ridiculous rate, is by a lot of people, including myself, considered to be one of the greatest fantasy writers of all time, next to like Robert Jordan or Tolkien. So the books are great. If you want to do a playthrough, I recommend you read those first. If you don't, it's also just a very fun mod, right? So got a, it already, last time I played it, it's been a while, it already had a ton of really fun features. So, but if you want to do it right and you want a good, you like to read, you like nonfiction books, I cannot recommend more. Uh, picking up the Way the King's book series, read through the first couple and then do a playthrough of this. You'll have a great time. What's up, Joey? How are you doing? Major AI empire choice. Oh, boy. Grand campaign is dead, I'm afraid. Kind of. Until the new one. I like some old Slavic geriatric fantasy books, Witcher or something. I mean, the Witcher books are really good, too. Um, Stormlight Archive is like high fantasy, I think is what it would be termed as. High fantasy. Oh yeah, the art is so good, dude. Way of the King's art is so incredible. It's such a unique word, the world. Like he's such a very unique writer. He, I won't go into that. He's an interesting guy. Last time I saw you, your hair was shorter. I'm glad to see you still deliver quality. Well, I'm glad you still think it is quality, Joey. Thank you. That was a long time ago. I've had long hair for a while now. Let it grow. I am going to shorten it a bit before I go to school, uh, probably this week, actually. Next Saturday, I might have a very different hairstyle, but I'm just, I'm making it shoulder length. I, I like it long. As I've said before, while I'm still semi-young, I want to be able to enjoy long hair in case I go bald. Which I shouldn't because my genetics are solid, but you know. Okay, let's, who should we play here? Um, I used to go random. Let's go interesting character. We'll do random. Sure. Actually, that's a city lord. I don't know if we'll be able to adventure with that. Do like one of the dukes or something. There we go. High prince. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. They added Wordle and Tetris to... This mod is, is doing, putting in the work, Jesus. Books? I am not literate? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, we may need to do away at King's playthrough, folks. I I might have to do one, honestly. That's incredible. Oh, man. All right, it would be activities? Dungeon diving? Blitzky, how do I do dungeon diving? Do you know? Minor quest? That looks right. Questing Val. Lots of children. If you were in a woman, do you think you could read it like in the lore? Yeah. Yeah, so he brings up a very interesting... I will not lore dump on you about Way of the Kings. It's a great series. Go read it. But uh, culturally, for a lot, of, a lot of cultures in Way of the Kings universe... Reading is not considered manly, 
reading is feminine. So basically the literate people of a lot of the cultures in the world, uh, literacy is for women. So women's make up like the scholarly classes, like researchers, priestesses, and things like that. Administrators, they're all women because it's seen as incredibly unmanly and inappropriate to learn to read. One of the main characters in it is a really cool guy. I forget his name. I haven't read that series in a while, but uh, he knows how to read and it's considered like very embarrassing. And people look down on him for it, right? Little interesting cultural thing. That would be why we can't read. I bet our wife can read. She's probably literate. I wonder if there's a thing for it. Light eyes. She is an aristocrat. Is there a literacy thing you can see? I guess not. All right. Uh, quest to gain duelist. I want to go, like, dungeon diving, though. You found it? Okay, let me look. That's so cool, dude. Inspired by Darkest Dungeon. Armor, armor pin, speed, stress. Can you only do it as this, like, one ruler? That would be sad. Let's see, where is that? Ruler of Erythiru. You could just... I turned on Iron Man. I'm done. All right. We're going to do a restart and switch over. Apparently, you can only do it as one state, though. That's a little annoying. Huh. I really hope they share this with other modders. That's so cool. Just conceptually. Yeah. I'm not going to read the whole thing on stream, but we're just going to go test it out. Lore reasons? Yeah, that makes sense. But it seems like they could just ad adapt it and do like more of like an adventuring style, dungeon adventuring style thing with it, but. Easter egg, I see. Okay. Can declare dungeon delves. I wonder if there's like a, like a rule that you can like open up dungeon delving to everyone. I'm gonna look really quickly. I'm curious. Radiant Soul Wars, You can. Anyone can launch a dungeon delve. Oh. We'll do it as them regardless, though. That's cool. All right. How do we start it? Probably an activity. No. We can actually read. Wonderful. Decisions? Yes. Declare dungeon delve. We're going to go hard. And no, we can't afford it. We're poor. Okay. Um, bring everything we can. Shard plate and spheres. I'm not going to read it all. Just kind of want to see what happens. All right. Here it is. It's just us by ourselves. Oh, no. No skills. Or, okay. So attack, defend, move, flee, bandage. Yeah, so it's just literally like an RPG. Rest, heal self, recharge, infuse, motivate, drain, investiture. four of them. I don't think we win this, folks, but that's fine. We're going to defend my intern. I have no idea how this works. Defend. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, or you're gonna get fucked up. Um, let's see here. We'll attack the front guy. We're gonna get. Yeah, we're very weak. Okay. Yeah, so it is just like kind of our. <laughs> and we died. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, no, it needs. Definitely needs some more work, but that's so cool, dude. I hope they expand on that. I hope they share that with other mod teams. Like, if the Elder Scrolls or maybe even like, you know, Game of Thrones mod teams got a hold of this and like just went crazy with it, that could make CK3 so incredible and it can make the mods like endlessly fun and playable right that's absolute insanity i really really hope the other mod teams are looking at that and going "Ooh!" and i hope that way of the kings is like hey take it take it and run with it yeah elder kings especially into lesser extent game of thrones right wow that's cool though i may do a way of the kings playthrough there's so many playthroughs i want to do in all the paradox games though decisions all right folks this was it like i said i did i wasn't going to do a full playthrough i wanted to check it out and show you guys so that is cool thank you very much blitzky for telling me about that appreciate it with that we are going to end the stream for the day i will be done for this week i will probably stream saturday i'm almost certainly going to be moving this week um so i'll probably have a new setup with i stream most likely i may stream uh move the week after so we'll see um so i should be streaming this weekend next weekend but just in case I don't, that's the reason I'll continue streaming after. I'll be going to school starting next week as well. Not this coming week, but the week after. So I'll be a little bit more busy, but I should be able to stream on weekends. Saturday streams will probably, uh, from here after this, really bad at describing time, aren't I? Um, not this Saturday, but every Saturday after that, streams are either going to be done early in the morning or really late at night because there's some other like things I'm going to be doing it uh, on Saturdays. Worst case scenario, I might just move everything to Sunday and do like, you know, seven, eight hour long streams on Sunday again, but I don't know. We'll see. So times might shift around for streams. Uh, I'll be, keep updating YouTube videos and stuff like that with the VODs and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, good seeing you as well, Joey. Been a long time, dude. Um, Yeah. Hope you all enjoyed watching. Appreciate the uh, viewership as always. Very nice. And I will end for the day. Catch you all later.